their partner is also doing well. They have an impressive six stack in the um, unprotected zone, so that's quite good. Ooh. Oh, I hate to see it. 97, 38, 5, A happens to tip over their stack. That's unfortunate, but they did get unstuck, so they can go make another stack. Seems you like going for a stack Looks of like three. their teammates got him. They got their back, too, with a big stack. That's what we call insurance right there. Yep. I see some chain out on the field. I think that came from 20... Um... 2038Z though, so I don't think they'll be making any more stacks. Alright, All great right, job to the team from that match. Qualification match number four. The blue blue team won 14 to 6. Alright, let's announce our teams for qualification six. We have on the red alliance 5098 radioactive from microchip. And then on on also on joining them on Red Alliance, 7830P, ACP Oakland, Noble Knights. And then on our Blue Alliance, we have 1096A, Short Circuit. They all look pretty tall to me, I don't know about that. Uh, and then also on Blue, we have 85367Y, Adam from Edison School of Innovation. All right, teams are ready. All right, and Autonomous starting in three, two, one, go. We're seeing all four teams get off to a hot start. You know, I was at tournaments in November, and we didn't see the teams going for it in Autonomous. So this is really nice to see. 5090A is going for it. Yeah. Oh, no. Hopefully... Well, that's a beautiful stack not maybe, in the right zone, Maybe 5090A can pick that up, though, and that score in the correct zone. All right, and Blue Lines won the Autonomous period. All right, and driver control in three, two, one, go. Tilton, I'm not sure how they're going to be able to pull that one I wonder if 5090A is going to try to go up. It. it seems like... They tried it. Looks like they're recovering three fairly cleanly, so that's making the best of a bad situation right there, for sure. 5090A is quickly picking up those cubes, and I think they're going to score that stack in the unprotected zone there. They're using their um, mechanum base to allow them to drive sideways. That's a really important feature if you want to avoid defense or um, strength. So let's talk about intakes for a second. 5090A, you know, it's really smooth, their intake. It's really consistent. So you can make two robots that look the same. They maybe might act the same, but you got one that's just a cut above because they made sure to test that and get that spacing, right? That's so important in this game. Yeah, they're just sucking up those cubes. Let's they're not discount Team Adam on uh, our blue alliance there. Looks like 7830P is playing some defense on them. That's a very smart strategy. The tower fell down. That's that's a, um, a field happen. problem. So we'll see if any doubling comes in from on our purple. Oh, that's so unfortunate. That drop is... 5098 did make an them. impressive stack over here in the protected zone, and it seems like they have enough time to go for one more. We got a lot I'm of not sure if they one. will do that though because they are currently leading and you don't want to risk it if you're ahead. Yeah, for sure. I can't justify trying to squeeze that one in there. I assume they're just picking up to deny. I hope they're not going to... Oh no, they're going for it. I happened to do this at my first tournament this year. I was the first seed and I pushed over 18 cubes. That best of one will do it to you. You know what? They make us eat our words, children. They really do. Because that was a great deposit by 1598. They probably practiced that. Great job by them. All right, and results are in for qualification <laughs> match five. We were doing Red team won 14 to nine. Hey guys, if you think these MCs over here, Benji and I, and then um, Tyler, Tyler, oh, there he is, are doing an amazing job, just please let us know. Michelle's being very negative to us, so can we get some applause for our commentators, our MCs? Yeah, hear the, listen to that lukewarm appreciation. We love it. All right, so in this match seven, we got 9014A on red, Tempe Prep Middle School, and 85367B, Triple A. They got you if you need roadside assistance. On blue, we got 6142Z, Willis Firebots, and 1096D, I'm sorry, Techno Panthers from Payne Junior High. All right, are we ready to start this match, refs? All right, Autonomous starts in three, two, one, go. Good solid start from both of our Blue Alliance. Every Everyone moved. Everyone scored one Everyone point. Scored. That was an impressive autonomous. Right, so they're not going big here, but 
they, they did worked. what they needed to do, and if any of them didn't do it correctly, they would lose the autonomous. So that's a good play by All each. right, and driver control period is going to begin in three, two, one, go. We're going to see if 85367B is just going to pick up that stack of four. That's a really smart strategy. They don't need to grab those blocks one by one. They can grab them all at once. We love to see that kind of innovation right there. They actually have a wonderful design in using a cascade lift. It allows for a super compact starting size, but a ton of expansion. So I bet they could even reach the tall tower. And we see coordination with their 9014A team. You know, they don't have quite the same capacities as their partner does, but they're working and they're going to help maximize their team alliance's points. So that's the kind of teamwork we like to see. However, that's It seems like, like um, 1096D has collected four cubes and is trying to score them in the protected zone. We'll see if they can get that done. Tyler, what do you think about this match right now? Uh, I'm just seeing all the defensive play we see. We're seeing the blue lines in the front blocking the, been blocking this stack for almost five, or the whole match. Yeah, so Preventing those them from getting the score multiplier. Yeah, oh, so the wheel has been lost on the field now. 6142Z is playing amazing defense. They finally defense. get it down. 9014A. Great job by them. We need to be careful over here on the Red Alliance. Our team Triple A. I'd say I'm very impressed by um, 8536-7B. They're consistently grabbing those cubes and putting them in the towers quite efficiently. And they've also stacked... Um, Six cubes in the protected zone. A 1096 deed. Let's not discount them over here. They're doing a good job depositing those cubes. Oh, they scored another cube. Now they're up good to five. This there. is actually a really close match, guys. It might come down to those cubes the teams are placing in the towers. You know, Red really came out with their strat match strategy here, and we love to see that. I think really those orange cubes in the towers are what I think won them this match here. And they also played with the towers and their stacks picking up orange cubes and setting them down the zone exactly. while putting so them in the towers. What we saw here is this red alliance came in with a strategy and they executed it well in the face of adversity. All right, and results are in for qualification match number six. Red alliance won 22 to 14. All right, as we're getting set for qualification. As we're getting set for this qualification match eight, let's get to know our teams. So on our red alliance, we have 6142W, Willis Firebots from Willis Junior High School. We got 92,800C, Robo Cougars C from Chino Valley High School. They're gonna be facing their fellow Chino Valley High, uh, high School uh, teammates, 92,800A, Robo Cougars on Blue Alliance. Is they also have right eight five here. 266E Slam Dunk from Brown Academy Homeschool. You know, it's really fun when you get to uh, face your high school teammates. Uh, you might see a little trash talk afterward. Yeah, a little bragging rights here. Who's the best robot at the school? This might come down to this match. Seems like we're waiting on one team, but I'm sure they will get here. So it's always best when you see a little competition within your high school. Yes, competition is you. one of the fun parts about Vex. Wait, what team is it? Oh, looks like we're still waiting for our 92800C team. They need to get over here quite they need to get over here quick if they want any bragging rights for a win here. Oh, here they come. They're ready to play. Folks, we're running a bit early here, so make sure you're checking what match we're on. Check that match schedule. Make sure that you're getting here on time. I mean, I'm just doing it. All right, and it looks like everyone is ready to go. Autonomous period start in three, two, one, go. Wow, these are actually some impressive autonomouses from Blue. Oh, uh, but they knock a cube over the field. That's really unfortunate. Or over the autonomous line. They did start themselves off well by um, having five cubes in their tray. All right, and the driver period is going to start in three, two, one, go. 92800 team. 9200 800C team getting going. 
Meanwhile, it looks like 920800A is trying to get their lift to expand out and have done so successfully. That's a very interesting strategy by 85266E. They actually have a, a slide on their tray that's powered by a motor so they can get more cubes and still fit in size the 18 by 18 dimensions. It looks like while we've been saying that, uh, Team Slam Dunk over here, that deposit for them was a slam dunk. They're just looking at what they want to do for the going forward here. They already um, have an impressive five stack in the corner for blue, so they might play towers to get um, those cubes to increase their point value. Yeah, or they could just run up the score by uh, by building higher stacks. I, I think they really can't go wrong here as long as they keep that stack up and don't knock it over trying to do anything. Yeah, the stacks are really impressive. It's probably the best part of the game is seeing people make really, really tall stacks, and sometimes they fall over, and that's um, an interesting part of this game is the level of surprise. Meanwhile, tragedy has struck in this back half of the field, and 92800A has become disabled, and it appears to some issue between their cortex or brain and controller has occurred. If they want any of that sweet, sweet intra high school bragging rights, they're going to need to get going here. Uh, Slam Dunk almost scored that purple team in the tower, which would have made their stack of purple worth four points instead of two. But if 6142W, oh, it looks like they're not going to get the purple here, so that would make it not worthwhile. All right, we're going to see our referees try to help the team get fix their problems, because that's what Vex is all about. Yeah, you know? sharing and learning together, because everyone makes mistakes, and you have to be able to fix them on the fly sometimes, and people that know um, information can help you. All right, and meanwhile, the score for qualification match number seven is in, and Red Alliance has won 17 to eight. All right, so for this match, we have on our Red Alliance 1096F Iron Maidens from Payne Junior High School and 4461A Robo Colts from Ruth Fisher Middle School. So we got a middle school alliance over here. On Blue Alliance, we got 2612A Chaos Theory from ASU Prep. And then we have 4461B Robo Colts from Ruth Fisher Middle School. Again, we got that rivalry going on. Are we ready to go? All right, All we're right. ready to go. Qualification match number nine, nine autonomous in three, two, one, go. Oh. Oh. And we had a false start. Do you guys have auto? Does anyone they have auto? Uh, control station, we're going to need to restart that. Okay, we're going to need, we had a little bit of a false start there. I was watching 2612A. Oh. Okay, well, so it's going to take a second to reset this here, I think, as the refs figure out what's going on. What are did, we doing? Did you guys have an autonomous? Oh. Our refs are going to confer and see what's going on, what they're going to do here. I dare not say anything. No. We do not know the full situation, so we will just wait. We're not replaying, okay. Driver in three. That would be a tie. All right, so the time period was ruled a tie. Driver control in three, two, one, go. I was watching 2612A this morning in skills practice, I believe, and they were actually quickly picking up those cubes and making them into large stacks. Yeah, let me talk about this 2612A team for a second here. My last year I competed in the zone. Uh, they were our second pick for our alliance. Uh, and you know they had a pretty basic robot, but since then they've they I really feel the energy that they've had since then. Uh, they we got to the finals with them, and I feel like that really has energized them to push and to make a really competitive robot here. So it just shows you how some hard work can help you get really good at Vex. And as I say that, they're scoring a big stack here. Yeah, Great look, that hard them. work is obviously paying off. It's those hours spending your robot room at home or at your school, where you're just sitting there tuning your your robot that really makes the difference because like we've said many times it comes down to consistency and they are able to set up probably the highest stack we've seen today and they did it really smoothly there was no jerkiness of the robot it was just a smooth deploy yeah and so that's what i really like about vex i feel like there's these little moments and competitions you go to maybe you're not the best robot there but it really you know 
gives you that energy and the drive to do better. And we see kids getting really engaged in engineering. It's great to see. And honestly, from the first year that they started, like you said, when we competed back in, in the zone, um, they've gone so much better, obviously, now. From going from a, um, a second pick to probably being um, either an alliance captain or a first pick at this tournament. Yeah, so they are able to double their uh, orange cubes there. They did drop a stack while we were talking, but, you know, you got to live and learn, make some rookie mistakes sometimes. And the first match of the day is always a learning experience exactly. for both teams. So they're going to get things figured out, but great showing from our 2612A team there. Yep, and we definitely. saw a great effort from our red team trying to get blocks pushed in there. All right, and scores from qualification match number eight are in. Red Alliance 1, 9 to the blue team 6. Alright, guys, make sure when you come to the field, you come ready to play, both with your robot in size, having your preload in your robot, or touching it and touching the wall, along with your B5 program selected. We had a couple problems with that today. Just make sure that you're ready. If you don't select it, then we will have a autonomous that we can commentate on. Alright, so... Oop, let me get my match number figured that's out. That's my problem. All right, can I announce the teams? Uh, qualification 10. On our Red Alliance, we have 7830K, ACP Oakland, Noble Knights. And then we also have, joining them, 85367Z, Sprocket Sisters. I love the alliteration. On our Blue Alliance, we have team 2038Z, Cat and Crossbones. Their name's disturbing, but their robot's great. Uh, <laughs> And then we have 7830C, ACP Oakland, once again, Noble Knights. So we're going to see another school rivalry. We're see being blessed with a lot of those games right now. All right, ready to start this match? You guys are. All right. All right, and if Command Center is ready, we're going to start Autonomous in three, two, one, go. All of our teams are getting off to a fast start. Whoa, that is a fast Autonomous by... Um, 85, 36, 7, Z. They picked up four cubes. Unfortunately, they weren't able to place them all down. I still think they won a autonomous period because of um, their partner's robot, um, 1830 K. All right, and we're gonna start driving. 1830 K actually. in three, two, one, go. All right, and also during that autonomous period, 20, 38 Z lost one of their grabbing chains gonna severely handicap them during this match. We see our Red Alliance working with those uh, purple driver loads. I think the chain that 2038Z lost might um, stop them from picking up any more cubes this match. So they might be going for a more defensive strategy now and stopping um, 8536Z because they are making an impressive stack. 7830C has got a kind of funky stack going on here, but they're going to try to clean it up. And I think with their uh, manipulator and the double reverse 4 bar, they will be well situated to do that. Let's see what they can do, try to clean up this mess. We've seen two high stackers today, both with that um, cascade lift and this double reverse 4 bar. Unfortunately, 8537 or 8536Z has knocked over their stack, but they still have two um, cubes scored in the, un in the protected zone. Um, they are working on picking these up so they can make another higher stack. What are you seeing in this match so far, Tyler? Uh, I'm seeing a lot of defensive play like we theorized out of 2098Z. And it seems to be working to their team's advantage overall as they do appear to be slightly ahead on points. As many people say, defense does win championships. And as we've seen at um, Worlds with teams like 62X, a fully defensive robot, they did extremely well in um, the round robin there. So defense is definitely a good idea. Yeah, you some drivers get really rattled by having a robot push them around. Right, you don't even need to go fully defensive either. Uh, it's just taking your opportunities. Sometimes you can use two seconds of your time, waste five seconds of the opponent's time. Uh, even if you have an offensive robot, that's part of the game, and it's a great way to put yourself ahead of the opposing alliance in those tight matches. All right, and scores are in for qualification match nine. We have the red team with six we're points and blue team in. winning with 15. We're doing, we're doing it fine. All right, we're getting set for this qualification match 11. We have 6142X, Willis Firebots, and 1096A, Short Circuit on our red alliance. On our blue alliance, we have 1471B, 
third wave two. And then we have 92800Z, Robo Cougar Z. Are we ready to go? Just get All set. right. Autonomous starting for match number 11 in three, two, one, go. Seems like 92800Z is slowly pushing a cube in there. We'll see if he gets in there. They're playing oh, a slow just careful game. Oh, oh, oh good. Oh, that stopped right precision. before. That is precision right there. And you notice, even if they overshot a little bit, they had it coded to drive forward once again. So that way, you know, they be pushed, They keep, can't be pushed through them. Okay. All right, and driver control in three, two, one, go. Right, so you can't push through the cube, right? That's not how the laws of physics work. I don't know, so maybe we'll change them. You Invisible push, cubes. You can't push through the cube, so they push as far as they can, and then they back up. It's a good way to ensure that they're not touching that cube, and it counts as scored. All you right. seem to have 1471B out here with their wall bot again. Looks like 1096A is really trying to get these stacks. Their Looks intake is having some trouble getting, touching in those cubes. All right, and 6142X seems to be caught on one of the posts, but is largely trying to counter to the defensive plays of 1471B. It seems like um, 1096A was able to use the wall, which is a really interesting strategy to help push up their stack of cubes to get a five. Now they just have to set that stack straight in the zone. So we're seeing a bunch of orange cubes from them. I wonder if they'll play I don't orange know if they're going to have the capacity, but if they could uh, maximize those points by placing some orange cubes in the towers. We have seen teams um, intake more cubes than their trade can handle and have the top one go off and into the tower, so maybe they'll try that to get some cubes up there, because they do have four orange cubes, five orange cubes scored. Notice they have an orange cube at the top of their intake, so they will be able to do that if they so choose. But they've been having trouble getting the stack high without pushing against the wall, so I wonder if that's going to be too hard for them Maybe to they can push against the tower, though. That would be an interesting strategy. Looks like we have a lot of chaos coming out from 1471B and 6142X. Meanwhile, 92800Z is just trying their best to get some cubes in there. I think what, from what we've seen today, defense is being a really big factor in these matches. Disrupting them while they're trying to set down their stacks is making it hard for drivers to consistently and smoothly make those deposits. Looks like we have a 12-11 winner a qualification match 10. That is a close match there. Yeah, the Autonomous wasn't able to bring them over the edge there up for Red Alliance. How are you doing, Nathan? All right, we have our match 12 qualification. Uh, on our Red Alliance, we have 9014B from Tempe Prep Middle School and 85266E Slam Dunk. We saw them dunking some slams earlier. Uh, on our Blue Alliance, we have 6030M Mages, a home team here at Arizona College Prep Erie, and 1096C Alchemist from Payne Junior High. We'll have to see if 6030M can pull out a win in this match. All right, the match will begin soon. All right, we're ready to start. Oh, we're starting. 6030M scores one cube in the unprotection zone. The good thing about starting with an autonomous is you can kind of Did start. you select your program, possibly? It seems like Blue is able to take this autonomous I think we are, I think we are all good. Three, two, one, go. We see the slam dunk team getting to a fast start. They've already got three block, or cubes, excuse me, in their robot. It seems like 1096C after possibly a getting stuck in the zone is now free and going to pick up a green cube. Um, 85, I can't quite see the number, 85, 266E has an impressive stack of seven cubes. That's one of the higher ones we've seen today. Yeah, that slam dunk team, you know, they're, they're a little slow here, but I think they'll be really consistent in uh, depositing that stack. Let's see if I don't jinx them here. 
We're having some trouble with that purple cube. Hopefully it doesn't prevent them. Okay, Ooh. that's sketchy. Hopefully they can drive forward. And, oh, oh I my. Think they're, I think that they is get so close. They are very close. It seems like their mechanical oh. slide is... I'm so sorry I jinxed you guys. Broken. Yes, Benji, you did definitely jinx them. It's my fault. Oh, they're going for a tower, though, because they do have two purple, three purple cubes scored. So that would be a... That's a smart play. That's, that's a very smart play. That's, that's a good way to make the best play. of a bad situation right there. I like to see that. Maybe they're going second purple cube in a tower. That... See, they came here with a strategy to do towers, and they're coming in picking up the purple cubes to do towers. That's great. Those blue lines, we seem to be trying to herd some cubes in. Uh, we do have a tipped over 60-30 amp robot. That's highly unfortunate. Thank you. All right, great match for those teams. We are hopping on to qualification 13. Um, everyone seems to be here and ready to play. Looks like we had our Red Alliance win in qualification match 11, so congrats to them. <coughs> All three of the rest are wearing the same shoes with different colors. We're having a little discussion with the referees here. Looks oh, like we have some man. questions. They love to have your questions. Uh, so on our Red Alliance, we have 1096E Circuit Cutters from Payne Junior High. And we have 92800A Robo Cougars from Chino Valley High School. I don't think I have ever seen this type of turret with an arm at this tournament yet. So that will be very exciting to see from 1096F. And we're going to introduce them, 1096F, on Blue Alliance Iron Maidens from Junior High. And we also have 7830P ACP Oakland Noble Knights on that Blue Alliance. Another ACP team competing at their own tournament. Strong robotics program here. All right, and we're ready to go. So Autonomous starting in three, two, one, begin. Oh, looks like that's going to be an automatic loss for our Red Alliance. As they accidentally pushed uh, blue cubes, I'm sorry, cubes over the uh, autonomous boundary. But blue did have an impressive autonomous period, picking up three, only getting one score, though. I'm sure they'll pick that back up and score a bigger stack there. So the problem there was. They and driver yeah. control begins in three, two, one, go. So the problem there for our uh, Red Alliance was they weren't able to get those cubes picked up, so they just pushed them forward. Uh, looks like in the driver control they are able to get their tray out, which is highly important for them. They're going to get a big stack. They have three cubes. To, oh, they fixed the purple cube in the middle. Unfortunately, it appears that 1096F is having some issues with their arm. It appears to be caught on the metal plating of their base. Yes, hopefully they can get that working. I think it's actually hitting the battery, which is quite unfortunate because that means that they could either unplug their battery and get their arm moving or not be able to use their arm and score in towers for this match. The good news for the Blue Lions is 7830P has already stacked one tower of four cubes and is looking to do the same on the other side. They seem to be um, a really consistent team at this tournament, easily getting four cubes every single match they've been in. You know, 92800A, they just need to get their process a little more under control, and they're going to be stacking very fast once they do that, I think. It appears Tragedy has struck 1096E, and they have a cube stuck in their robot. Uh, it seems like um, 1096F, when they lift their lift up, it is getting stuck on their battery cable. It looks like they should not touch that. Yeah, that could happen. That could be a problem for their brain I would if not they pull that them. out. If I was them, I would just say, hey, let's go play some defense. But that's just me. I think that could be pretty useful. Yeah, they seem to have a nice, solidly built robot, and I'm sure it can push quite well. But over here, 92800 almost gets a stack right at the end. They did get an orange cube to land on top of that green cube. So style points and one actual point. 
We are over here for qualification match 14. And it looks like scores are in from qualification match number 12. Red Alliance scoring 10 points and just narrowly losing to the Blue Alliance who scored 11 points. All right, so let's meet our teams for this qualification match 14. On the Red Alliance, we have 8598A, Robot Overlords, and 6142W, Willis High School, Junior High, I'm sorry, Willis Firebots. On Seems blue, like they have some cheering out in the audience there. That's, they got that's their nice to show the support. Point. And on Blue Alliance, we have 9014A, Tempe Prep Middle School, and 1096B, Scrap Incorporated. All right, it looks like we are ready to go. Autonomous begins in three, two, one, go. I wonder what Scrap Incorporated, what their shares are trading at right now. Should I invest? You All know, right. I would invest in that Autonomous. Looks like 8598A is going for a four cube stack, but has once again misaligned. It's very tricky to get those turns to perfectly aim you in the zone. All right, and Autonomous was a tie. Driver control in three, two, one, go. All right, and the teams are off. It looks like all the teams are up and moving except 1096B, who appears to be having some minor issues, but has since come back. It appears 6142W has got their tray to fold out. Yeah, that was really uh, good thinking by them to push the cube in with the tower base. I think maybe when 8596A tries to set that stack, if 1096B pushes them from the back, that might knock over the stack, which would be an impressive defensive play. Uh, they get the stack to release. That's a really nice stack. And a lot of orange cubes coupled with 6124W, who also has... Um, two orange cubes currently scored, working on a third one. They're trying to shunt that up there, that's interesting. The Lions hey, that's still a good play from Willis over there. The Lions coordination on the red side is stunning as they just scored an orange multiplier cube in the tower. I think this might be one of our highest matches today just because of the multipliers they're putting in and the amount of orange cubes they've been able to um, intake. Safe 142W going through some more orange cubes, maybe they'll try to increase one of the stacks they've made. I don't know if that's going to work out for them right now. But I'm not sure. We only have 20 see. seconds left in the match. All right. It looks like 1096 is trying to pull some defensive maneuvers on the 8598A, preventing them from picking up cubes. Eight five nine eight a almost getting another cube in the tower, but just barely missing. All right, and results are in for qualification match number 13. Red team scoring four points, blue team scoring 14. All right, let's get to know our team. This is for qualification match 15. This is going to be an exciting one, if I may say so. Uh, on a red alliance, we have 85367Y Adam. And we also got a perennial powerhouse. Double eight, double O X. I Phoenix Lights. Wait. Looking to that. try to rain on their parade, we have Blue Alliance, 92800 C, Robo Cougars C, and 6142Z, Willis Firebots. We're going right. to see if they can mount a successful resistance here. All right, it looks like everyone is ready to go. Autonomous period starts in three, two, one, go. I'm watching double double O X here. We'll see if they're able to align their auto. They're carefully not pushing any blocks of cubes over. Good play from them. That's a violent turn, but man, was it precise. Did you find it? Oh, no. And that violent turn caused blue team to automatically win the uh, Autonomous period as that the red is, team launched. That the is cube very unfortunate. Three. Driver control in three, two, one, go. That's highly unfortunate right there. I thought they had it unlocked. Yeah, I would agree because they made an impressive stack in autonomous. It's kind of a, a weird ruling that the um, GDC decided to make. Seems like 8800X is quickly in taking those cubes. Probably to go score in the protected zone. Let's see if 6142Z can somehow get the stack of four over cleanly. They can, unfortunately. 
Ah, aren't going to work for them. Um, eight five three six seven Y has a interesting type of cube lock to hold their stack up while they score in towers. That makes their um, whole stack of cubes stay in their robot so that they can easily score in towers. I think this might be one of our highest matches today. I wonder where they got that idea from, Tilda. I wonder. What do you think, Benji? Uh, good stack from double eight double O X. I like how they're playing they're it smart and not going for other two stack. stacks in they're the build base higher. You know what? They're saying, hey, we have the lead in this match. We're probably going to win, but we're here to have fun for the last 45 seconds. Let's build it higher. That anti-tip bar is doing a lot of work for That was there. a very close call. Uh -huh. You know, I think they would have been fine as long as they don't have any lament going backwards. Yeah, good thing they have that, though. Yeah, that tip bar saved them, for sure. Yes, it's definitely better to be safe than sorry. Even if you can drive without one, but it is uh, rocking on its back wheels a lot, just add one for safety. It seems like one of the fastest tower and stack scoring robots at this tournament. That's a really polished robot. Uh, their confidence actually did pay off. They did get a higher stack in there. Definitely. I think we might be seeing them as one of the Alliance captains come Alliance selection. I think he definitely will. We're going to see if they're that first seed, though. All right. The results are in for qualification match number 14. Red Alliance winning 23 to Blue Team 6. How are you doing? How are you doing? Cool. Are you This is a fun event hosted by ACP Robotics. I'm really not. Uh, all right, so let's get ready for this qualification match 16. On Red Alliance, we got 7830A, ACP Oakland Noble Knights, and 2647X Dark Bots. On that blue alliance, we have 97385A Sand Sharks. Hopefully, they don't get beached. And 85367B Triple A Roadside Assistance. I added the roadside assistance part. All right, are we ready to go for this match? All right, and the match is going to start in three, two, one, go. Seems like, like ACP Oakland's robotics team has pushed one cube in there. That Dark Box team is making a very impressive stack. You know, that tray is so large, I would love to see them use its full capacity. That's I think that was big. one of the most impressive autonomous today. They didn't push any cubes across the line. They made a consistent stack in the small zone. And we begin the match in three, two, one, go. And you know, there were no costly mistakes there either with uh, accidentally putting a cube over. As right. I believe, I might be incorrect, but 2647 actually used to, or some of their team members used to be on 7830. So this is a cool match for them. And it would appear 2647X is going for their max load on cubes. It'll be interesting to see if they can actually successfully stack all of them. That is going to be big points for them if they're able to convert. I was told to move out of the way because their tray is so long and filled with cubes that it might hit me. I think this will be by far the tallest stack of the day if this sits down. They're going for the deploy. It looks very smooth. No. Okay. That wow. was a wonderful deploy. I was really scared there. I'm not gonna I lie. think that's the biggest stack we've seen all day, don't you think, Benji? Yeah, definitely. They have to be careful not to swing around and hit it with the back of their tray, though. That's always a concern. Meanwhile, on the blue lines, the, they have successfully stacked two stacks so far, one of four cubes and one of six cubes. This It'll is be actually interesting to see how their point mo multiplier affects their end score. That's this is a very, very impressive back. match here. Both teams are doing remarkably well. Blue Alliance has stacked um, a ton of cubes, and so has Red Alliance. You know, I would love to see a green, some green uh, cubes in the towers for Hopefully Red Alliance. Hopefully this second stack doesn't make it knock over. That would be very sad if it did, because that is an impressive stack that they have. Oh, oh they got wow. it to go down easily. That is exquisite work from that. Whoa. Dark bots. That is just time spent running the robot around and making sure everything works.
All right, and scores from qualification match number 15. Red team scored an impressive 38 points to blue team 16. Make sure you're inside the driver box right there. All right, let's meet our teams in this qualification match 17. Guys? On red, we have 1096D, Techno yep, Panthers, and 2612A, not quite here yet. Can we get 2612A over here? They need to get over here. I believe 2612A is making a last second repair on their robot, uh, but hopefully they'll be able to get to this match because that would be an unfortunate amount. Uh, here they come, they're just in time. Perfect. That's what we call just-in-time manufacturing right there. Uh, on our blue alliance, we have Rubber Band Robotics 2114C and 1590A Radioactive. So I expect to see a highly competitive match here. This is going to be a great one to watch. No, that is where it goes. He was in the wrong place before. This is going to be a close match. Both 2612A and 5090A have made impressively high stacks. And they both have solid partners, too. Don't forget about that. And also two very impressive partners. <laughs> this 2612A robot's looking very polished. I even see the grease on the gears. Amazing details. One of the cool things about the robot is they actually use the last year's flags for some of their um, wheel guards. That's kind of a cool feature. Gives it some color. Yeah, and it lets them slide by uh, any cubes or towers or whatnot not very it. easily and smoothly. Looks like 1096D is having some issues getting the robot back into size. Hopefully they can rectify that quickly. Rectify. That's your SAT word of the day. I don't think... I don't think we do SAT words anymore, do we? Not at all. Hopefully they can pass by this sizing check. Um, that would be unfortunate if they had to f do something to the robot. If they don't pass the sizing check, they will most likely be DQ'd from the, math ho the match. However, that's up to the head ref's approved. approved. It does seem like they are passing. We'll have to wait and see what the final call is. What? My advice to teams, make sure your sizing is very consistent. Make sure you have a l about a half an inch to spare. That way you're not going to be running up against the limit. Yeah. Especially with some of these more, I don't know how to say it, but like porous robots. That kinda, I don't know. They kind of are like... The big and bulky ones sometimes have trouble fitting yeah, through. Especially inspection. if they have a lot of linkages, just things shift. And yeah, it's definitely weird. different games like... Uh, if you know, in the zone with the double reverse four bars, that was a hard game to fit in size. For sure. Looks like we're good. We'd love to see it. All right, and Autonomous begins in three, two, one, go. We're expecting impressive Autonomous out of these teams. Hopefully, 5090A doesn't okay, knock over their stack this time. 2612A I think they got the it. first pickup. Looks uh, like 2612. 12A's autonomous misfired and they didn't. Pick oh up no, 5090A, not quite. Oh, they, they scored one. <laughs> they scored the one. All right. That was a lucky fall for 5090A. You know, I don't even know if it's lucky. It's volume. And Blue Lions wins autonomous period. Driver in three, two, one, go. That's what we call a tactical drop. When you drop that many cubes right there, I think one one's bound to be scored. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, carpet bombing. That was an interesting move by six. 2612A, they just ran right into that stack of four and picked it all up. I think 5090A, no wasted time. Looks like they already got about an eight cubes. 5090A, now. definitely one of the most impressive robots at this tournament. Picking up cubes with ease and having a pretty smooth deploy. And Ooh, once they get that autonomous working, that's a huge stack in the small zone. 2612A is also doing some work here. Yeah, they definitely. gave that top cube a little lump tap on the way uh, out, but it didn't oh, fall. Um, Justin. That's just such a fast it robot. It looks like 1590A and 26. Oh, that's some interesting defense right there. Competition. They just went in. They did. Like, yeah, the whole wheel. 2612A just received a warning. You just got to make sure you are protect. careful that inner protected zone because that is a automatic DQ if you get in there, so teams should probably stay away from that. 
5098 going for another stack. And it seems like they've got all their cubes. We'll see if they can get it. They have an interesting mechanism on their robot that allows their intakes to fold away while stacking to make it easier to let go. Oop, are they going to get it? Ah, uh, unfortunately, only two cubes stand. They have nine seconds left. They probably want to just set that down. Oh, they are now stuck. Ah, uh, but it seems like 2612A also knocked over the stack. All right, and scores are in from qualification match number 16. Red Alliance won with a new high score for the day, 47 points, to the blue team's 26 points. Alright, let's get ready for this qualification 18. On the red lines, we got 92,800B Robo Cougars and 4461A Robo Colts. We got now multiple robotic animals represented on Red Alliance. On blue lines, we have 1096A Short Circuit, and again, 92800A, also Robo Cougars. We got that rivalry match going on. All right, are we ready to go? All right, and Autonomous begins in three, two, one, go. 1096A. On 92000A seems to have three cubes. We'll see if they can get that deploy to work. Oh, I all right, got, one, got cube. one cube in the zone. And that makes the autonomous period a tie. Driver control period begins in three, two, one, go. All right, it looks like 92800A is immediately picking up the cubes to just put down to try and score a fuller stack. I think they're going to get some big stacks this match. Hopefully, um, 92... Um, oh, oh. Oh, A can get some more cubes. It looks like they're now up to four. Can they get five? Looks like 92800B is attempting to block their sister team's pickup of cubes, playing impressive defense. It's, it appears that 4461A uh, has a claw mechanism on the robot, but they are currently stuck inside the zone. Maybe they, yes, there they go. They drive forwards and backwards and get right out of there. The Red Alliance is playing great defense over there on the Blue Alliance trying to score in the zone. Maybe when they push them at the right moment, they can make that stack knock over. Unfortunately, they do it themselves. Oh, actually, none of those there. Now one of them is scored. And it looks like Blue Alliance just had a second stack fall over. Unfortunately, they seem to be coming up short this match, and one of the Blue Alliance robots... It's like they got a busted chain on Blue. Just lost a chain. Oh, that's unfortunate that Blue lost a chain. That means they probably cannot intake any more cubes. We're seeing a lot of struggling here, but I think if 92800A can get a stack built up, it'll be really key for them. I don't know why they don't go for the protected zone. That's indeed what they do. That's a smart play from them, just as I thought it. We're on the same wavelength right now. And it looks like 92800B is just staying in this corner by the blue protected zone, making sure that nobody can score. Since Auton was a tie, it will all come down to how many cubes they stacked. Looks like three on two. We'll all right, and results are in for qualification match number 17. Blue team won to 14 to three. Uh, we unfortunately had a DQ in qualification 17 of 2612A. That means they'll receive no ranking points. Yeah, so those protected zone violations in the rule book are an automatic DQ, unfortunately, regardless of if it's match affecting or not. So that's an unfortunate thing. All right, and for qualification match number 19. Let's announce our teams. On Red Alliance, we have 2038Z, Cats and Crossbones, and 85367Y, Adam. 
on Blue Alliance. We got we got two Payne Junior High teams, 1096E Circuit Cutters and 1096B Scrap Incorporated. All right. Who's the CEO over here? It looks like we're having last second adjustments to the the Vex brain by 1096 something. Yeah. Yes, make sure when you come to the match you are ready to play and before you give the thumbs up, you know, everything is powered on. All right, it looks like everyone is ready now, so let's start the autonomous in three, two, one, go. Fast start from three of our teams here. 2038Z is lining up. See if they can get in that zone, it looks right. Oh, oh they were so close. They still won autonomous because both teams had a Autonomous, they both scored one cube. They're so close there. All right, and what? And Red won the autonomous period. Let's start off the driver control period in three, two, one, go. So I think that Cats and Crossbones team, they have the alignment right. That's the hard part. I think they just need to tweak that maybe a little bit over lunch to get the uh, get the stack right. As I say that, they did lose both of their intake rollers. They might need that's a. Um, Either try some new chain if they have a broken link in there, or maybe add uh, multiple sprockets. I know that's something I do on my room. I have three sprockets on each axle, so the chain can never break. All right. Well, never 85, say never. 85, 36, 7, Y is going for a massive break. stack. It'll be all up to the execution of their driver. Great job by this Adam team. That was very smooth. I did not feel sketched out. That was a great deposit by them. They have a really cool slider mechanism on their robot. I'm fairly sure they either use the CNC to make that line go down it, or they're just really good at using a Dremel. Or a bandsaw. Or a bandsaw. Bandsaws are nice. All right, and an interesting development. 1096E is now dragging their battery across the field. At any moment, it could disconnect and leave them motionless. Been there, done that. All right, and it looks like 1096B is trying to play defense against the two I just much move, larger robots. So story time, one time in a world's qualification match, I was, I started to drag a battery a little bit inside my robot, but you know, that teaches you a lesson about adapting. We had just deposited a mobile goal with a bunch of cones on it, and then we started playing defense. We just got in the way, and we didn't need to move that much, so it didn't matter. Yeah, it's not as bad as me. One time I forgot to plug in my battery. And that was an unfortunate match in finals, actually against Benji. Oh no! Um, remember at um, Madison or Willis Junior High School in Star Trek. We take those. We take those, Tilden. All right, great match. Red Alliance, great match strategy with the orange. All right, and for qualification match number 18, we had a very close match with a score of six for the blue team and a score of five for the red team. Who is ready for another impressive match? I think um, 9735A. Doing well at this tournament, and maybe they'll make some more large stacks. That's me. Ah. Uh, isn't it good now? Way over here. We're trying to avoid the bad mic sound, so sorry about that. I don't want to take Justin's spot. I'll stand as close to him as possible. All right, and we are on qualification match number 20. So on the red team, we have 1096C, the Alchemist. And also their alliance partner, 97385A, the Sand Sharks. On the blue team, we have 6114W, Willis Firebots, and 7830C, the ACP Oakland Noble Knights. All right. We got a lot of support for the Noble Knights. We love to see it. All right, and everyone's ready, so Autonomous begins in three, two, one, go. All right, it looks like we got three Knights. out of the four robots moving. 7830C appears to be picking up two cubes. It'll be interesting to see if they can align to score. Uh, doesn't look like that's going to count. It's going to be a tie at Autonomous. But oh. they should be able to adjust that. All right, and with that tie in Autonomous, we're going to start off the driver control period in three, two, one, go. They are able to align it. That's what we love to see. It's actually a fairly straight stack in the back corner, which probably means they can get two of those in there. Yeah, it looks like they might try to add to it as well. Yeah, Let's adding they try to then... stack on top. Looks like they're going to place on the side, but we love to see them try to stack on top. With that double reverse four bar, they should be able to do it. 
That's that was a super cl clean play. I think that was the fastest four cubes we've seen all tournament. That's true. They were just they didn't need to do anything special. They just grabbed the four, moved them, placed them. All it right. It seems and like 97385A just managed to stack a five six cube tower. That team and looks like it's gonna be a powerhouse here. Yeah. Very impressive. It seems like 1096 C is having some problems with their brain, and it is not any more. It's not turning on anymore. That's extremely unfortunate. The battery has to die. That's unfortunate. Looks like they need to go to the Wizard of Oz. If I only had a brain. That's a very cool move by 97. Sand sharks. By sand sharks. Oh yeah, I can look at the screen. There we go. By 97385A. We'll see if they try to move their partner out of the way to you score know, in that zone. They might have uh, to to win this match because I think Blue they'll did have put to. up an impressive stack. I think they'll have to. This is going to be really tough. It's highly unfortunate for them. I think they're going to be able to do it. Don't rough house too much, boys. Oh. Maybe my. they should try pushing with the back of the robot. It's an interesting development. Meanwhile, our ACP Oakland team is getting those green cubes. Uh, looks like they have a slight oh, advantage in they those. They moved them out of the way. We'll see if they can get this stack down. Oh, uh, unfortunately, no. no. You know, that's really unfortunate. I feel bad for them. That's a great effort by the sand charts. All right, and the scores for qualification match number 19 are in. And the Red Alliance won by 46 to the Blue Alliance's three points. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for qualification number 21. As the team gets set, the referees check the placement. We have team 6142Z, Willis Firebots, and 92800Z, Robo Cougars, rounding out the Red Alliance. On the blue lines, we have 8598A, very strong team, Robot Overlords, and 7830K, ACP Oakland Noble Knights. This is going to be a good one, ladies and gentlemen. Are we ready to go? All right, an autonomous period begins in three, two, one, go. All teams spring into action. 8598A, there's a little bit of clicking there, but looks like very clean, very careful Auton. They have a smiley face on the back of their robot, they're cool. Uh, Meanwhile, 92-800-Z is taking the, the tail's not quite good. and scoring a point. And on the Red Alliance... From all the time I've something. spent doing vexes from this year, it's very hard to make a cute balance like that. So yeah, that's an that's, impressive feat. That's precision right there. It's kind of stuck on the field. All right, and driver control period in three, two, one, go. All right, it looks like 8598A is looking to correct their Auton mistake and stack those three stack or four stack of cubes in their blue protected zone. Looks like they might be having some connection problems in A598A, or maybe they're just getting things situated. I'm not sure. Looks like we have Now some they're moving. Connection. They're just going to start over on that stack. That's sometimes a wise choice. 7830K has three cubes in their robot and is looking to pick up a fourth. So 7830K with the green cubes. We're going to see if they are going to work with their 8598A Robot Overlords partner to try to get green multipliers cubes up in the towers. That could be part of the strategy. I think there might be some mechanical problems on Robot Overlords. 7830K has stacked four green cubes, so maybe they'll play towers to They're going to play towers now, I'm pretty sure. Or, yeah. I would really suggest doing towers, because they have an impressive stack of green over here. They might do one more stack, but time is running out. I would do towers if I was them. And it looks like 8598A was trying to take your advice and stack a green cube in the short tower, but missed the first time and is setting up for the second time. But 6142Z is looking to play defensively and block their stack. So that's a great way to play adaptive for both teams there. We see Robot Overlords, they're having some mechanical issues they can't stack. So they say, okay, we're going to stack in the towers. And 6142Z sees that, and they're saying, okay, you want to stack in the towers? We're not going to let you. It I'd love to see like 7830K try to get some multipliers in the towers because it doesn't look like their partner is going to be able to. Yeah, great defense being played by um, the Willis Firebot 6142Z. That is very impressive. They completely shut down 8598A on that tower. Yeah, that's going to be a close one. Thank you.
So, is your mic working? Um, no. Okay, great. Yes, sir. Do we need to get started? I'm not going to yell, but I'll just say. Okay, we're going to start the match. Mics aren't working right now. Apparently, we are going to yell this match. I'm not, I'm not, yeah, but I don't want to do that to stand, period. Um, it seems like three of the four robots move, and... Oh, good point. Are we just not commentating this match? Alright, we're good. Send my streaks. We're back. Hi. What you doing? Oh shoot. All right. Now after some technical difficulties, we are back. Looks All right. Like we have a very interesting match going on here. Looks like 2114C is trying to stack this four stack of cubes and is almost, maybe, kind of, maybe, is successful. You know, that 2114C team has an interesting design there. You know, they don't really have a linkage to their uh, tray. They just kind of push it up with a little bar. Okay, but works. it's working out well for them, so I don't think they should change it. All right, it looks like the 6030M, the mages from ACP Erie, are looking to play, play more defensively as they kind of push all the cubes into one corner. Let's see uh, if this 2114C team is able to clear away that green cube. Yeah, they are, so they're going to be able to deposit their stack, it looks like. If all things go well for them. Seems like 6030M is trying to put a cube in their alliance tower, but just misses. That's unfortunate for them. 14C is struggling over here, but looks like they're situated properly. Oh, there they go. They got it. Now they just oh, have to back up. Oh, oh, no. Spoke too soon. Unfortunate. I pushed them. That was my fault. Sounds like you're bad luck, Tilden. Tilden I am. Curse. All the teams that I'm on always lose. All right. And qualification match 21. We had another close match. Blue Lions winning nine to Red Alliance's eight. All right, let's get ready for qualification match number 23. On the Red Alliance, we have 92, 800, C, Robo Cougars, C, and 8, 5, 3, 6, 7, Z, Sprocket Sisters. On the Blue Alliance, we have 2647X, Darkbots, and 6142X, Willis Firebots. Let's I'm go. I'm excited to see 2647X compete because they've been putting up some massive stacks. I think they're the highest stack of all day. All right, and we look like we are ready for the autonomous match. Let's get it going in three, two, one, go. We see a successful deployment from 2647X. That's a hard robot to deploy because there's so many stages of that tray. Yep. I think this autonomous that is so cl they do drop the block, the cube, but other than that, it was very clean for them. All right, and Blue Lions won the autonomous period. Let's get the driver portion done in three, two, one, go. All right, and 2647X is nearly hitting their own drive team. Their robot is that long. It's a long boy. That means that they can intake more cubes, though, and make more stacks. So look for Sprocket Sisters to do some good stacking here. They did that in Autonomous, but unfortunately they missed on their uh, alignment for the placing placement. Yeah, it seems like at the top level of this game, like in finals today, um, the higher the stacks means that you're able to put more cubes in each zone, which will be important. So I'd love to see the Dark Bots. I'd love to see the Dark Bots uh, make their tray a little more solid on the top, but I understand that's really hard with how much it's pulling out. And it doesn't matter too much as they're able to get a big stack up. It is almost placed. Okay, there it slips down on the ground. They're, they're, they're good. They're very careful with those, and they need to be. Yes, you should be, because it's important that you are able to set that stack down, because they spend a lot of time picking it up. You need to be very careful that they don't swing around and whack it. Yes, that's definitely one of the benefits of the sliding tray that we've seen some teams have here, is your overall space of the robot without cubes is much smaller. Right. 
it does look like they've practiced a lot because I feel like they would have already... Eh, I say that, they'd knock a tower, but <laughs> they probably would have knocked down their stack, so I think they are very careful about that. Yes. Hey, no harm, no foul. The tower is not going to complain as long as it's matter. not going to be a stack of cubes. Oh, one cube just falls out of their robot. Now, someone who might start complaining is 95367Z as 6142X successfully defends against them stacking a full stack in their protected zone. Yeah, I noticed that was, a, that was a great play on both parts. Yeah, both or all of the not, or 6142 teams have been playing impressive defense today. All right, and scores are in for qualification match 22. We have the blue team winning by eight points to six points. All right, let's get ready for qualification match number 24. On our red alliance, we have 9014A Tempe Prep Middle School and 4461B Robo Colts. On our blue alliance, we have 85266E Slam Dunk and 59EA Radioactive. Looks like we have some strong alliances here ready to go. All right, and they're the refs are just double checking to make sure all correct programs are loaded. And it looks like we are good to go. All right, autonomous starts in three, two, one, go. 5090A will have to see if their autonomous works this time. Meanwhile, 9D14A barely mi misses scoring their driver load. Ah, uh, unfortunately, gets caught up on the wall. Maybe they'll be able to pick that up. A missed deposit from Slam Dunk. All right, and since none of the cubes are seated correctly in their scoring zone, the autonomous period is a tie. And we're going to go to driver control in three, two, one, go. Fifty-nine days trying to going to keep these in bounds. I think, you know, it'd be. I would like to see them kind of knock the top above the stack, uh, to try to keep it in bounds with their top of their tray. But we'll have to see if fifty ninety eight can pick up any more cues. They seem like to be having some problems with their autonomous today, but hopefully they'll get that figured out at lunch because they have time on the practice fields. Just Looks like ninety fourteen A was trying to play defensively, but couldn't hold up to the motor power in fifty ninety eight. 5098 does have a strong base with four 200 RPM motors on the Mechanum Drive. All right, and it looks like 5098 like is successfully stacking. We got the thumbs Apparently, 8800X wants some cheering going on, so if you're out there and you think these teams are doing well, clap away. Apparently, yeah. nobody's Good doing job, well. Good job, Nathan. I'll clap. I said clipboard my hands. All right, it looks like we have a... Looks like 9014A scoring successfully an orange multiplier cube in the tower. Meanwhile, 1590A is looking to stack a second stack in their second driver protected That's zone. That's a clean deposit right there. Looks like overall the red team strategy is revolving around scoring orange cubes in protected zones. That blue It'll is going to multiply their green cubes. That's a smart strategy. They're able to get that run up. Looks like 4461B was incredibly hampered by the cube that got stuck in the center of their robot. Looks like it's preventing expansion. 1598 did a great job playing towers that match to complement with their stacks. All right, and results are in for qualification match number 23. Blue team 28 to the red team's nine. In that last match, we saw actually orange cubes uh, being scored in the towers by 5090A. That's to get their SPs up, uh, the losing lines to score. So they were confident about their win, um, and they were trying to improve their opponent's score. It's a smart play from them. Yeah, there's definitely some nuances about how the um, alliance selection and rankings work that you need to pay attention to so you can get that first seed. There's a purple in front of that stack right there. Looks like there was some unfortunate incidents with missing field elements. So All if right. anyone sees a random field element that does not belong to anyone, return it to the competition stage immediately. All right, let's get ready for this qualification match. 25 on red lines. We have 1471B, third wave two, and 85367B, triple A. 
On the blue lines, we got double eight, double O X Phoenix Lights and 1096 F Iron Maiden. All right, it looks like everyone is ready to go, so we're gonna kick off the match in three, two, one, go. Seems like 8800X is quickly picking up those cubes. They have an interesting slider mechanism they seem to deploy uh, once their tray folded out. Hopefully they'll, well, there were no mishaps there. They didn't throw any cubes. Great clean deposit from double A, double OX. All right, and Blue Lions wins as the rest passed around some cubes. Uh, uh, driver control in three, two, one. Go. It seemed like from the autonomous period, 8800X is using a gyroscope to um, make their robot turn and have consistent, consistent autonomous um, turns. And they are wheeling again, but that tip bar saves them. And so that was a great attempt by Team AAA over here. They did a great job of getting the four stack, but unfortunately it tips when they try to deposit it. I think 8800 will get this stack in there. And Maybe they'll go for an even bigger one next time. Doesn't look like they're leaving room for a second unless they kind of push that one over. That would though. be a very sketchy move, though, pushing a stack across the field. Who I think they might just keep it in there because they are currently ahead. Who would even try that, right, Tilden? I, I wouldn't suggest it. All right, and in an interesting development, their partner robot 1096F has moved their battery so they can now use their utilize their claw effectively. It's good that's, to see those kind of changes. That's great. See, that's, that's just innovative. engineering on the fly. They realized they had a problem and they decided to fix it. it. Looks like 1471B is working hard to make sure all the cubes are as hard to access as possible for 8800X. Who do you think? Who thinks that 8800X should go for a, a high tower, the top tower? Well, if they, uh, no one, apparently. Up. I think it would be pretty cool to see them load up a stack of cubes and then push one in there. Uh, looks like they have the stopper on the top, actually. I think they need one more cube and then they can get it. All right, in an interesting defensive play, 8536-7B removed a purple cube from the tower, marking the first time that's been done. All right, and totals are in for qualification match 24. Blue team with a total of 53 points, with red team scoring 15. SMH. You better do it next time. All right, let's get it ready for this. Hey, we're getting ready for qualification match 26. So let's introduce our teams on Red Alliance. We got 9014B Tempe Prep Middle School and 7830P ACP Oakland Noble Knights. If you're a fan of these teams, make some noise. On Blue Alliance, we got 92,800B Robo Cougars and 2612A Chaos Lights Theory. On. They're timely. They're on time right now. Good job, right. guys. Sorry. And it looks like the. You gotta pick some plates over here. It looks like our team is resetting their controllers so it syncs up with the field correctly so we'll just be waiting a moment for that to finish up. No, you're good, man. Oh, all right. Well, the referees give us I bet 2612A is going to try to come back from their last match. We'll see how they do this time. All right, and everyone is ready to go, so we're going to kick off autonomous in 3, 2, 1, go. Everyone deploys quite quickly. Um, Red Alliance has one cube scored, and they're going for more three cubes. Will he get? Meanwhile, meanwhile oh, on the Blue looks, Alliance, looks close. Maybe one will fall in. They want to miss. And it looks like Red Alliance has one just barely. So it looks like that autonomous. All right, and we're starting off the driver control period in three, two, one, go. So it looks like that autonomous is a little frustrating for 2612A. They can do better. They know it. But they're off to a fast start here. Hopefully they stay away from that protected zone this time. Oh, they seem to be a little bit entangled with the Red Alliance robot, 9014B. All right, and we just had a pin count from one of our refs for 92800B. It's important to remember that you can move away to end the pin count. 
We're seeing some good drive coaching from this 2612A team. It seems like 2612A is lining up for a stack. That is 10 cubes. It's uh, quite impressive. Actually, 9 cubes. It's quite impressive. Oh, now 8. Fell out the back. All right, and 7830 has successfully stacked 4 cubes in their zone. 2612A, their stack goes up. Oh, oh unfortunately, no. their tray swings around and hits them. That could cost them the match. That is just more and more practice will fix these things. And over the days, these teams will get better and better. 9014B is doing a great job of defending against 2612A's motions, inhibiting them from moving quickly across the field. Seems like 2612A is really struggling getting those cubes. All right, and it looks like 7830. Hopefully, they can get this. Is going for their second stack. They're well, not going to knock that over again. Definitely no. not. And instead, they decide to knock the field tower, control tower. Oh over. my gosh, that was a very I close call again from 26. <laughs> they might need to practice with that so they don't get it again. All right, and scores are in for qualification match number 25. Blue Ooh, team scoring 24 points, while the red team scores seven. All right, let's introduce our team for qualification match 27. On Red Alliance, we have 1096B, Techno Panthers, and 1096A. Short circuit, looks like we got Payne Junior High here. Getting together, teaming up to take on our Blue Alliance, 7830C, ACP Oakland Noble Knights, and 6030M Mages. So we got an ACP team, but different schools. All right. All right, and it looks like we're all ready to go. So Autonomous is gonna begin in three, two, one, go. Everyone appears to be moving. Red has scored one cube. Unfortunately, I think 1096A got stuck on their cube. That is an unfortunate oh. event for them. It looks like 7830C is willing to there. score at least one cube in their zone. If they back up, it looks like they will get it. That'll get it. All right, and Blue Lines 1. Let's start off the driver control. Three, two, one, go. All right, it looks like 1096D is de attempting to deploy their arms, but it is not working out well for one of them. Maybe they can try to use a tower to get that figured out. Try to run it up against the tower, I don't know. Unfortunately, when 7830 was trying to pick up their four stack for their patented um, score, they ended up knocking it over, which was um, not good for them. But I think they might be able to get D3. Oh, maybe they'll get the next three stack. All right, and it looks like 1096A has had another occurrence of their chain snapping during a match. Chain is a difficult tool that you work with, so it is expected that this happens sometimes. Certainly don't want to see it that often, though. 7830C, clean deposit right there. Great job by them. Seems like many teams today are having problems with their chain falling off the inside. I wonder what teams will do to overcome that. Because it's really unfortunate because you no longer can intake. So I like to see that game strategy from our ACP Oakland team here. They go one color of cubes on the stack, and then they multiply those. It's a really great strategy. It's the best way to maximize your scoring for your robot. Looks like Team 6030M is now wedged up on cubes and cannot get down. It'll be interesting to see if their alliance chooses to spend the time to knock them back into play. You know, 7830C, they're going for it. I don't think they're gonna, I don't think they need no man. It'd be pretty cool if 7830 could pick up that green cube and put it in the tall tower. Tall tower, tall tower. He's just going to go for the short one. That makes sense. Yeah, I don't know. The short one's probably easier. Big tower. It makes sense. Oh, they're kind of stuck on that chain. Okay. So the chain does stop them. So maybe the tall tower would have been a better move. Maybe, but the tall tower is very high up there and could make the robot unstable. What do you get? All right, and scores are in for qualification match number 26. 13 for Red Alliance and 9 for the Blue Alliance. Oh. All right, let's get ready for qualification match 28. On our Red Alliance, we got 1096E Circuit Cutters and 7830A ACP Oakland Noble Knights. On Blue Alliance, we got 85367Z Rocket yeah. Sisters and 9014A Tempe Prep. 
Middle School. This one? All right, and it looks like everyone like is ready to go. So let's kick off this alliance or autonomous stage in three, two, one, go. All right, and it looks like what is it, 8536Z or 7Z has successfully scored four cubes. Great job from Sprocket Sisters. All right, and with Blue Autonomous, Blue Lines winning the autonomous phase, we're going to move on to the driver control period in three, two, one, go. All right, and Blue Blue team puts in their driver loads for win, that they get for winning autonomous. They're making sure it goes straight against the wall. It's important clarification that could get you DQ'd if you do not do so. You must comply. We're seeing their Rocket Sisters Alliance partner, 9014A. We're gonna, they're going to see that they're going to place the green cubes in the towers. That's good synergy right there. They're working with their teammates. They communicated. That's what we love to see here. It looks like 1096E is having some issues picking up cubes. I wonder if they should just switch to a defensive play style. It seems like the Blue Alliance team... Um, Eight, five, three, six, seven, Z is trying to put a sack down in the blue zone, and it they get it, and now they drove away. That is, oh, sorry. There's very impressive coordination going on between the two blue lines partners as the as nine, 9014A works on scoring the colors, the green and purple, into the towers to correspond with the points scored by their alliance mate. Make sure when you're make when you're exiting. Leave to the right um, because it makes the robots not clash with each other from people coming from queuing. Seems like another problem with teams losing their intake chains is happening with 7830A. You know, I want to point something out, Tilden. When we see teams building a big stack of one color and scoring the towers, they haven't lost. That is true. It is quite a good strategy because it works. You put a cube in a tower, it adds another whole point to each cube. All right, and in qualification match 27, we now have the scores. Blue Lions won 18 to five. All right, let's get ready for our qualification match 29. On the red side, we have 2114C, Rubber Band Robotics, and 92,800A, Robo Cougars. And we got two from the same organization on blue. We have 85367Y, Adam, and we got 85367B, Triple A. I just realized their team letter is B and they're called Triple A. <laughs> I have to ask about that. I don't know. Ready to go? All right. It looks like 85367Y is getting their robot in size and putting their driver load on. We're running ahead. We're running fast. So we'll give them time to get set. All right, and everyone is ready to go. Let's kick off the autonomous phase in three, two, one, go. Boom, that's fast. All right, it looks like we got three out of the four robots moving with everyone scoring at least one point. You know, if it was a race to score first, I don't think anyone would your beat that Adam. They uh, got in there fast. Make sure you guys turn on your robots and select your programs. That is the second time today. All right, make sure you guys are getting set and have a checklist, guys. No matter how long all right, you guys back, you always need a checklist. going on in, with the refs about whether or not a cube push across the line is considered disqualifying for the autonomous bonus or not. Uh, maybe. All right, and it is... Con it is deemed a disqualification for that bonus. So, well, the autonomous bonus were rewarded to Blue. Okay, so the refs are clarifying. It is just a bonus award to the opposite team. So Blue Lions has won the autonomous bonus. Let's kick off the driver control in three, two, one. Looking at this um, Blue Alliance robot right in front of me, their lift seems very well built. It uses a lot of high strength shafts, but it looks very clean. I think it will work well once they turn on their battery. So that AAA team, they had they had a problem 
they're allowed in driver control to plug in the battery, etc. So it looks like they've gotten going. They're going to try to get the stack of four cleanly into uh, the zone. It looks like they're squeezing. Yes, they got that. Now maybe they can push this push this green one in there as well. Oh, now they put two cubes. That's perfect. That's a good play right there. All right, it looks like 2114C has almost scored a stack of three, but then it fell on them at the last second. Meanwhile, 8536.7Y has scored a two. That's clean, it's neat, we love 12 cube stack. Blue Lions now scoring a purple, multiple purple cubes in their fence, or in their field goals, allowing them to get multipliers for all the purple cubes in their stacks. Oh, this Blue Alliance team, 8536.7B, stacked another cube on top of that. That is a very um, interesting stack. It is almost falling over, but they so it backed away like, just in time. It looks like that AAA team actually switched drivers. So I think they're doing that when they switch to towers. They must have practiced separately on maybe, the separate robot functions. Maybe one driver is better at the tower play and another driver is better at setting down cubes, and that is their decision. Yeah, no, and it's interesting to see that. Oh, uh, that is planned. impressive, the robot going up for the high goal. Great. <laughs> and I like that they had the plan, they executed it. Usually, uh, if someone's grabbing the controller from someone else, it's, uh, I'm not it's doing a, a good job, they take it, but they, they had the plan, actually. All right, and scores are in for match qualification 28 and Blue Alliance has won by 27 to the Red Alliance's four points. We have another interesting match over here with 2647X. All right, this qualification 30 match on red. We have 2647X, Dark Bots, and 4461B, Robo Colts. Really? Facing off against the Blue Alliance, 1471B, Third Wave 2, and 6142W, Willis, Firebots. All right. Yeah, they got spirit. Looks like everyone is ready to go. So Autonomous, let's kick that off in three, two, one, go. Whoa, that was a, a fast deploy by 2647. Hopefully they can. Oh no, oh no. Unfortunately they push. They're so close to getting, uh, losing that Autonomous automatically, but looks like they have the wrong side auto too, so it wasn't gonna work. All regardless. right, and do the Q being pushed over, Blue Alliance has won that Autonomous. Oh, never mind, I was mistaken. Well, blue just won anyway. And All we right. start driver in three, two, one, go. All right, and they're off. 2647X immediately going to collect all the cubes they can possibly find to make those giant towers that we've come accustomed to seeing from them. Seems like 2647X is picking up a large stack. They're one of the highest stackers at this tournament, and they're going to go score it in that small zone. Oh, they lost one. It looks like one is very precariously no, I, in there. I haven't counted, but I think Dark Fox definitely are the highest stacker at this tournament. That they got to be really careful. Stack. Even with that anti-tip bar, it's still a lot of weight back there. I think they might even be able to go one more. They'll, They'll be play it safe, though. How's that deposit look, Tyler? It's clean. Great play. They get it to set down. That's that's a Meanwhile, a nice it's looking deploy. like 1471 B is seeing how big of a problem 2647X is for them and attempting to move to defensively block them. I think it's gonna be too little too late. Maybe four four six one B can get out of the way here. We're gonna see some more deposits. Looks like they're having some drive issues. See if they can, yep, they crab walk their own. Well, no, they just drive right out. It looks like the Will's Firebots team is having issues getting their stack out of their holder. And okay, you ready? We're gonna see a big all. stack from the Dark Bots here. I think this is gonna be their biggest seconds. stack they can do. That's max height right there. Are we gonna see it? It's so close. Kinda. They run out of time there. You know, you just gotta, you gotta know the time and just go for it. You know. Yeah, I think they still won that match though with that impressive small zone stack. Oh, for sure. But even if it doesn't, even if it falls, it tumbles, you still get some points. All right, and scores are in for match 29. The highest score we've seen today is 70 points for the blue team, 
and only 18 for the red team. And you know that high score is because they went for those high goals, the towers. Yeah, and they actually went for that highest of goals and put a purple cube in there, which was quite impressive. Maybe 26-12A can do that this match. All right, so in our qualification match 31 on a red alliance, we have 1096B Scrap Incorporated and 2612A Chaos Theory. Rounding out our blue alliance, we have 92800C Robo Cougars C and 1096C Alchemists. All right, and it looks like everyone is ready to go. So we're going to kick off the autonomous period in. Is everyone ready? All right, in three, two, one, go. Unfortunately, it looks like the blue lines were about 1096D got stuck on the wall. 2612A, again, is having some problems with that autonomous. But I don't know, they'll probably have to work on that at once to make it work perfectly. For sure. All right, but due to the work of 1096B, Red Alliance has won the autonomous, and we'll start driver control in three, two, one, go. The, one of the team members on 2612A gets hit by their tray. It's a little love tap. Yep. I wonder if their driver was trying to do that on purpose. It says, thank you, Father, for giving me life. Looks like 1096B All right, is, Benji. <laughs> looks like 1096B is attempting to block off the motions of 92800C as it works def to defend against any moat points. So what just happened over there was big. So we saw in that last match with 2612A, they had some issues getting that I like 1096B's defensive aggression. They're coming out here and they're pushing into other robots. Absolutely. We see 2612A, they made the adjustment. They are able to get that stack much more cleanly in this match. Sometimes you just have an off match, and they show they're better than that last match. Clean. It seems like 1096B um, is setting up a defensive strategy in front of that small zone, preventing the Blue Alliance from scoring any cubes there. 2612A has to be careful not to hit the uh, stack they made with the tray, or I'm going to be eating my words about them. That would be very unfortunate if they did that. That would get rid of all of their points, actually. And worst of all, it would make me look like a fool. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that? That would be such a disastrous event, MB. All right, and getting back to the actual robots, 2612A is scoring in the towers consistently to ensure that they get maximum points out of their green cubes. At least we know one of our MCs is on target. Maybe 2612A is going for another stack over in the corner. Those pickups are so fast, so clean. Can they get it three seconds? Ah, uh, not See, quite. You know what I was saying earlier about just going for it? They just went for it. It didn't quite work out for them, but they tried. Full send, no send. All right, and for qualification match 30, we have tw red team with 12 points and blue team with nine. All right, as we get ready for our qualification match, 32, let's introduce the teams. On Red Alliance, we have Team 1598, Radioactive. Don't stand too close to them. And 92800B, Robo Cougars. On our Blue Alliance, we have 92800Z, Robo Cougars Z. We have two Chino Valley High School teams facing off in this one. We also have 97385A, Sand combination of my shoe and your shoe. All right, and just a reminder that the concession stand is open and selling food for lunch as this is the last match before our lunch break. Yum. And if everyone, everyone is ready, so let's kick off this match and get to some food. All right, Atomus, three, two, one, go. Fast start for 5098. All those cubes are going for that same Atomus they've been trying all day. We'll see if it works this time. Wow, they took a roundabout. Oh. I think it might possibly. Wow. Oh. Nice route, Magellan. All right. And with Red Alliance winning and only slightly scathing our ref, we're on to the driver control period. Three, two, one, go. So I thought 59 Day was just kind of lost there, but they came around, they proved me wrong. They deposited that stack accurately. That's a great play. They obviously were tuning that autonomous between matches, which help them get that autonomous bonus right now. All right, and it looks like 97385A is currently having connectivity issues and is just popping online now. I also, I heard that it's going to be a mad dash for them to make up for the lost time to 5090, 5090A. 5090A is going to play it safe. 
They went near that projected zone, they said, no, I don't want that automatic DQ, I got this match. So they just get away from there, that's smart. It seems Looks like 5090A is coming into this corner to score a stack. They're trying to clean up that area. You gotta, you gotta move some cubes to stack some cubes, right? Just like you gotta spend money to make money. All right, and 97385A has already made up for some of the point difference and has stacked one stack successfully so far. But that's a clean stack for 5090A. I wonder if they're going to try to uh, stack any more or if they're just going to put some orange in the high. No, they're going to try to stack more. I don't know if I agree with that move. It's a little risky. It's a little risky. They do have the autonomous bonus for padding. Okay, they're gonna improve that green. I don't know about that. It's, I guess it gets some SPs too. Hello? Oh. All right, it looks like 97385A is going for a second stack, but will they have time with only 10 seconds left? I am, I am back, guys. Nice last second shot there for 5090A. Great match from all around. All right, and results are in for qualification match number 31. We have red team 28 and blue team with eight. It did really quiet. And that's it for Hello. like an hour. Hello. Hello. Enjoy your lunches, Hello. everyone. Turn me all the way up. Hello? Hello? All right, in qualification match number 32, scores are in. Red Alliance with 44 points and Blue Alliance with 23 points.
Why is Baron trying to... Is this even working? No, it's working. Hello? It's working? Really? Hello. Uh, why can't I... Mine is on. Mine is on. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Is mine working? Hello? Hello? We can hear me? Alright. Cool. Can you hear oh, me, yeah, Justin? yeah, you can't hear me. Never mind. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I 
No, I, I... Of course. Who is ready for robots? Why so quiet? Baron. 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 Hello, Andrew. You guys should turn me up. You guys should turn me up. So I can have farther away from my face. It could be at 107. Yeah. Wow, dude. <laughs> Is can 8566E please come down to the field? Thank you. Got him. Bow, bow. I do like my singing. Thank you. They're doing Fortnite dances. No. Why don't you? Yes, we would like them here, but if they are a few minutes late, that is not a big deal. That is okay. What? Where? Me. I have to go over here. Hey, how do I, how am I going to get into you then? I don't know. I know, I'm now a tournament. I am, jeez, jeez. Welcome, guys. Anyone sees Michelle Yo with a microphone? Please take it out of her hands. Yes, they did. They got it, guys. I probably should move my microphone away when I talk. Yeah. 
Yeah, in this match we have qualification match 33 on our red alliance. We have 85266 East Slam Dunk and 7830K ACP Oakland Noble Knights. On our blue alliance we have 4461A Robo Colts and 1096D Techno Panthers. All, All right. right, and everyone is ready to go. So let's kick off our first match back from lunch. Autonomous start in three, two, one, go. All right, and they are all off. 7830K having some issues with their autonomous. And blue team wins the autonomous. On to the driver round. Three, two, one, go. All right, and they are off. 8526 something E is grabbing a very large stack of cubes and is looking to stack that in their protected zone. On the blue team, we have 1050D also looking to stack their stack of cubes in their protected zone as well. It seems like 1096D is going for the four stack here and possibly trying to put that into the large protected zone afterwards. They have a nice um, slider on their robot that allows them to get more cubes um, and still fit inside the 18 by 18 dimension. That was a successful deposit from Slam Dunk. Looks like their teammate 7830K is going to be able to carefully, successfully deposit the stack. Easy now, easy now. This is a nail biter. That so purple cube is about to I'm fall I'm gonna lose off. sleep, oh no. Oh. Tilden, you had to say something. I did. Now maybe if they lift that arm up, they can place it on top. All right. Fortunately for Red Alliance, 8526E has successfully stacked four cubes in their far zone. It appears like 1096D's chain has fallen off in the zone. Yet again, another team with an intake problem. Slam They're dunk, despite their name, lays up that cube. Not quite a slam dunk, but it's effective. Looks like they're really focusing this is a very close match. Cubes. I think it is four to six. Oh no, there's cube you know over all there. All those purple cubes looks like they're actually gonna help blue. So I don't know about that. All right, and that concludes the match. All right, folks, let's get ready for qualification match 34. On our red alliance, we have 6142Z, the Willis Firebots, and 1096F, Iron Maidens. On our blue alliance, uh, 2038Z, Cats and Crossbones, and 9014B, Tempe Prep Middle School. No, I gotta check that one. That one's like... All right, and with some last adjustments from House of Pain, we are about to get under a... Just a reminder that your driver preload cannot touch the protected zones. All right, and autonomous start in three, two, one, go. We got a start from all the teams. 2038Z is going for that large stack. 6142Z is content just to put that orange cube in play. 2038Z, cat and crossbones. Oh, they misaligned. Oh, they 1096F. That was so close. Lucky without pushing cubes the line. It's red. This green cube in the corner is not safely deposited. All right, and driver control start in three, two, one, go. They're gonna give it a little nudge to start this match and get that in the scored position. Nice job, guys. 2038Z. Z is going to try to grab that cube out of the zone so they can make a higher stack. Come on, you guys can get it. All right, and they got it. All right, and it looks like if they get their alignment correct, they will have a stack of five cubes. Looks like our Willis team is trying to push that stack in as best they can. It collapses on them. But that's creative to try to get that stack of four in All there. Right. And Blue Lions gets the first stack of the game with five cubes in their protected zone. Let's see if 1096F can do anything with that turret arm. They're moving it around. They're looking for any cubes they can try to get a grasp on. Looks like tragedy has struck 9014B, and they are unable to move. 
Yeah, 2038Z is going to need to get them out of the way if they're going to be able to be successful in this match. I would say they need to push the corner. Unfortunately, 2038Z 20, lost all their cues out of their tray. Now they're it's trying to... Hard. It's pretty hard for Cat and Crossbones to get this wheel over. Get yeah. their partner out of the way so they can deposit that. It seems quite stuck in there. I'm not sure if 2038 will try to remove them. But they say, hey, you know what? What we can do is we can start getting those green cubes in the towers. Because they do have a, a relative advantage with the green cubes. Yeah, definitely. I hear some chatter from the Alliance. They're worried that their partner is touching a green cube. So they're going to try to pull them out. That's a really smart play. But that's up to the referees to call. It's going to be tough. All right. And results are in from quarterfinal qual or sorry, qualification match 33. Blue Alliance with 24 to the Red Alliance's 15. All right. This seems like a good match. We have some quality teams here. Maybe 8800 will put a cube in the tall tower this time. All Maybe. right. For qualification match number 35, we have 6142X Willis Firebots and 8800X on your Red Alliance. On Blue Alliance, we have 85988 Robot Overlords and 7830P ACP Oakland Noble Knights. All right. Drivers ready. Starting autonomous in 3, 2, 1, go. Looks like we got Andrew on the mic over Everybody there, playing moving. his dreams. I'm subbing in quick. Phoenix Light's looking for that six cube. Let's see if they can get it down. That's very clean. Are they going to lose that? And oh, they've gone too far. It looks like the bottom cube is kind of on. Was hit that edge right there. And that'll go to the blue alliance. Lucky break, Starting blue. driver. In three, two, one, go. And we're off to the races. Double eight, double O X is going to look to clean up their corner. They make quick work of that. Great job by the fart. Yep. You can't yep. touch. Yep. Nothing. Oh, Phoenix there. Lights there making a large go. stack. Yeah. Seventy-eight thirty also making a stack. Eighty-eight hundred out here with seven or eight cubes going into the small zone, trying to make that a stack. Looks like we have all three robots putting up stacks. Phoenix Lights gets it down. Uh. Seventy-eight thirty with a nice place. Eighty-eight hundred coming double double over in the large zone. They're going to clean this up. They're not going to clean it up. They're just going to place a stack. Now they will look for them to place some defense or start maximizing their score. Maybe uh, get some cubes in the high tower. We're going to yeah. see what color they go for. Looks like... Uh, I would say green looks uh, like the most of any no. color they have. Orange, comparatively, is a safe bet, I guess. It's up to them. Actually, strategically, they probably would want to go with orange based on the blue alliance having more green cubes. Because likes placing that in their alliance tower. It's hard well to do that math on the fly. We're winding on this match. We have three seconds. That's all. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This headset makes me look like a telemarketer, so let me sell this. For three payments of 1995, these needle nose pliers can be yours. But act now, and we'll throw in free shipping. That's right. Order now. Okay. All right. After that hot sale, quarterfinal match 34 scores are in, and Red Alliance won 10 to 7. I'm a telemarketer, and Tilden is a K-pop star with that hair. Yep, I And I'm am. the normal one. And I'm the normal one. Wait, why do you get to be the normal one? He has the microphone. Good point. All right, we're getting ready for a qualification match number 36. 
on the red lines, we got 4461B, Robo Colts, and 2800C, Robo Cougars, C. On our blue lines, we have 7838, ACP, Oakland, Noble Knights, and 92800Z, Robo Cougars, Z. We got another Chino Valley, Chino Valley, face off. All right, are we ready to go? I think All we right, are. All right, everyone is set. Let's kick off this match in three, two, one, go. A Looks start like from only our the blue alliance. alliance is moving in autonomous. Looks like they're probably going to get the win. All right, they... we got the snail over here and the tortoise versus, or tortoise versus the hare. We got the tortoise over here, and they have won. They cooperated. See, that's the real lesson. All right, blue alliance is the winner. Driver control in three, two, one, go. It turns out if you're the tortoise or the hare, as long as you work together, you can win. Exactly. What a heartwarming tale. All about Tilden's favorite word, consistency. Yes, exactly. Consistency and teamwork. All right, and so far, 92, 800 C is the only teamwork one. Teamwork is definitely my favorite thing. When you get to college, your grades will be consistencies. It's like we're seeing our blue lines just trying to herd the cubes in to their zo scoring zones in any way they can. It looks like we're gonna see some stacking. Four, four, six, one B might be struggling a little bit on their drive base. We're gonna see a little bit of stacking from this red alliance. It looks like they're able to raise up a cube, trying to grab some more. They're gonna see what they can do over here. Kind of drop that cube in. Nice. I hate to say it, it looks like Robo Colts are a little bit stuck, their lift. It's uh, looking, looking a little wonky there. I'm not sure what's quite going on. It does. It looks a little bent. That could be something that is keeping them from scoring points in the towers and making stacks. It's that build quality and consistency you need to compete. Yes. It's what okay. They'll make the adjustments, I'm sure. I am sure they will. That's what they'll go back to the pits and work on. Meanwhile, this Robo Cougars C team is doing a good job of uh, getting those cubes, pushing those cubes in, raising them up like a green elevator. I don't know. It looks like this. Oh, who won? It's gonna be a close call. All right, and scores are in for qualification match 35, 36 points to red, 18 points to blue. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for this qualification match 37 on the red lines, we have 1471B, third wave two, and 9014A, Tempe Prep Middle School. On our blue lines, we have 97385A, Sand Sharks, and 2114C, Rubber Band Robotics. 2114C, what a number. All right, it looks like everyone is ready to grumble. Let's kick off this match in three, two, one. Go. All right. And uh, nice seven, looks like our red alliance isn't quite able to get that cube in. Kinda nice seven three eight five A picks up not two. Not flat on the ground over and here. And blue wins. All right. And with autonomous now over, we can start driver control in three, two, one, go. Blue enters a purple cube into the field and is looking to pick it up. Another purple cube. The robot's a super solid build, it looks clean, and it's performing quite well today. It looks like 2114C may be trying to counteract 1471B's hoarding. They're kind of making a mess of things. I would agree around. with that. Keeping them out of the uh, small zone, allowing their partner to score. Yeah, I think that's what they're doing right now. That's great match strategy. That is great match strategy. That's exquisite. Great, great teamwork, making like sure their partner can score. Looks like 1471B also dislodged the chain off of 2114C. Rendering I'm them unable to pick up cubes once again. We'd like to see the Sand Sharks be able to deposit the stack. I don't know if they're spending too much time making it. it oh, uh, I see what they're the doing. Tower. That's a way. They put that uh, purple cube in the top tower. I'm not quite sure why they aren't using their lift to do that, but hey, it's working out for them, so. so. 
and it collapses. That's a fall. Unfortunately, the stack falls over. So right now, that cube in the tower is not doing anything for them. They need to get some cubes. They need in their to get stacks. some cubes fast because Red Which Alliance is making it tough for them. They had two orange cubes in the zone and two orange cubes in the towers, along with the purple. So Red is actually playing a really good strategy by using the colors that have been placed in the towers to on um, their advantage. All right, and with 15 seconds left, so the hopefully match, like um, Blue can get this stack in there and keep the match a close. Is going for a stack. That's so smart by Sand Sharks. They're using those orange. They're stacking the orange cubes, so that way they can get the bonus from that. Those towers colors as well. All That's right. a lot of back and forth right there. We love to see that. All right, and scores are in for match 36. Blue with 10 points and Red with 5 points. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's introduce our teams for qualification match 38. On the Red Alliance, we got two from Payne Junior High. We have 1096C, Alchemist, and 1096F, Iron Maidens. On blue, we have another Payne Junior High. We have 1096A, Short Circuits, and 85367Z, Sprocket Sisters. All right, it looks like House of Pain is just finishing up some final touches on their positioning. You know this is a good match for bragging rights right here. Basically. Every match where you got teams from the same high school or middle school, that's bragging rights, Justin. Yes, every match here, that's the point. Everyone gets bragging rights. And then ultimate bragging rights are who takes home that W at the end of the day. All right, and everyone is now ready to go. Let's kick off Autonomous in three, two, one, go. All right, and right out of the gate, 85, 36, uh, 7, Dad, Z, Z, the stacking three. On the big zone side. We just need to see any points for, oh no. And none no of them points. No points for this match, that is all right, and they were all so close. Autonomous is a tie. We'll start driver control in three, two, one, go. I'd love to see Sprocket Sisters try to get that orange cube under the rest of them. That's exactly, uh, they're just gonna start over, Never mind. Okay, that, that works too. So I've never seen an Autonomous where it's so close and yet so far for everyone from scoring points. That's really something, a thing of beauty. Yes, almost every team had a cube position less than two inches away from it needed, from where it needed to be. It's beautiful and horrible. All right, it seems like 1096A is trying to knock their top cube into this low tower. That's a smart strategy. I don't think they were aligned uh, correctly, unfortunately. I don't think they were aligned correctly. Maybe they'll try for the taller tower this time because they're more at an optimal angle for that one. All right, it looks like we just had a kill, cube spillage out from 8536.7Z. Hopefully they're just looking to realign those cubes they picked up. Unfortunately, it looks it like... It seems like they're going to stack in the corner, possibly. 1096F is not quite functional over there. Yeah, and 1096F seems moving. to be trying to manipulate that um, purple cube and score it maybe in the Alliance Tower. And Sprocket Sisters are really betting on that green right now. Oh, they just oh, need to edge it forward. Oh, oh, no. I'm sure they'll go back and try for another green. They have one right in front of them. They can put it in that blue alliance t tower and yeah, I'd like to see that double. That's exactly what they're gonna do. You know, they're gonna lower it down. They can't miss it, right? Oh no! Oh, don't, oh, don't jinx it! I curse them. Don't jinx it! Oh, they almost got it. Now she needs to drive away. And we're good. I didn't jinx them. I didn't jinx them. We're okay. Oh, 1096A cleaned up their space over here and got four cubes stacked in there. Their All partner right. made sure to get an extra green in. Great job, both these alliances. All right, and that concludes that match. We got results in for match 37. Blue team winning 22 to eight. As we get set here for qualification match 39, let's introduce our teams. Just On the red alliance, we have 6142Z, Willis Firebots, and 7830P, ACP Oakland Noble Knights. On our blue alliance, we have 4461A, Robo Colts, yeah. and 1096B, Scrap Inc. 
All right, and everyone looks ready to go. Start off autonomous in three, two, one, go. All teams, most of the teams bring into action. 78-30P tries to pick up that stack of cubes, but looks it looks like, like their intake one in is there. having some trouble, but they get one cube. Hopefully they back away. Oh, yeah, they okay. backed away, they're good. All right. It works. Red Alliance wins that autonomous. Let's start off driver control in three, two, one, go. It's going to be interesting to see if uh, this Red Alliance tries to capitalize on that advantage by getting some orange cubes in the tower. I think Blue, oh, Blue got themselves unstuck. That is very lucky for them. They were propped up on top of the cube. Let's see what kind of defensive plays we get out of 1096B. I think they're going to play some great defense. They're looking to attack that 7830 machine and push it into the corner while deploying their walls so they can no longer score in that area. All right, looks like they're centering and wall deployed. There. Nicely done. Now 7830 is going to have a hard time scoring in that zone. It'll be interesting to see if 4461A can keep up with the scoring potential of 7830P. I don't know, currently it's neck and neck. Blue does, ha or red does have that autonomous bonus, which means the blue alliance needs to get six more points than red. You no, know, I don't know why Willis is trying to go it in there. I don't think they're going to be able to successful at getting in past Scrap Inc. over there. I don't think so. They're a pretty well-built wall, and they seem snugly fit in that corner. Right. You just push them in, they're just getting in there deeper. I mean, every year we had joked about wall bots, and now they're finally here. 7830P not fully functional, but they're trying to get something in there. They're trying to get some points, pick it's, something up. It seems like this match might come down to where that autonomous bonus was rewarded. It's been a very defensive match and not a ton of scoring so far. Right, and that concludes the match. Scores are in for match 38. We had 10 points for blue and five points for red. All right, for this qualification match 40 on the red lines, we have 85988 Robot Overlords and 85367B Triple A. On the blue lines, we have 92800B Robo Cougars and 85266E Slam Dunk. Are we almost ready to go here? We get confirmation from our refs, Nate. Are, are, are we ready? All right, we are ready to go. Autonomous start in three, two, one, go. Looks like a good start from all teams. No. Slam Dunk needs to be uh, careful that they don't push any over. It looks like uh, the blue lines uh, were trying to score no, back in the small me. zone, but they don't get it, unfortunately. They were so close. All right, and Red Alliance wins. Driver control in three. Two, one, go. All right, and it looks like 92800B is just looking to play defensively against the Red Alliance motions, trying to inhibit as much scoring time as possible. They have to be really careful playing defense around that protected zone. Yes, for sure. The protected zone is a sketchy place oh. to be because of that instantaneous nope. DQ. All right, it looks like 85-266E is looking like they are ready to score some, a stack. I think they should go up for the, I think they should go for the other side. I don't think they should. I think um, 85367B is actually doing really well this match. They might be a little bit on the lower side at 32, but I think they could be one of those picks that 
many people don't think about, but they are actually making really high stacks, and they're consistent. And they pair well with others, I think. Yes, they can really, they can do towers really well, and they can also stack on top of pre-made stacks. Okay, looks like this slam dunk team is doing as I thought they should. They're going to try to go to the clear zone now. This stack is actually really tall for um, eight, five, two, six, um, seven B. All right, and it, it is teetering, but it is up. And 8598A is looking to do some teamwork and score some of those green cubes in the higher field goals. It's actually one of the smoother Cascades lifts I've seen in Vex. It's a very well-built robot. All right, and that is time. And scores are in for qualification match 39. Red Alliance has nine points, winning up against Blue Alliance, who only had three. All right, let's get to know our team members for qualification number 41. On the red lines, we have 1096D, Techno Panthers, and 2647X, Dark Spots. On blue lines, we have 85367Y, Adam, and 9014B, Tempe Prep Middle School. All right, and it looks like everyone is ready to go, so let's start autonomous in 3, 2, 1, go. Off to the races with all four teams. Looks like the Oakland robot is having some issues with their autonomous for the first time today and didn't deploy fully. That's unfortunate for the Red Alliance because they have an impressive autonomous period. All I right. just really hope they're able to get that folded out. Yeah, yeah that would be unfortunate if that was stuck in position there. Blue Alliance. All right, and Blue Alliance is the winner of that autonomous period. Let's kick off the driver control in three, two, one, go. Oh no. Are the dark bots gonna be able to get folded out? This is a competitive match. Both of these teams can make stacks. If dark bots can deploy, that is. It looks like it is stuck in there, which is really unfortunate because they've had no problems with this all day, but that is a big train. They're having a hard time folding that out. Meanwhile, 85, 36, nope. 7, I think y. they're going to play They're going to play some fast defense. That's a great decision. Yeah, they, they know what they're doing. That's why they're uh, the number four ranked team at this tournament. They know how to adapt. They know how to um, overcome their problems during the match. But There's I don't know if they're going to be able to overcome that autonomous bonus, especially now that their opponents are going to score in that protected zone. I mean, they're just in trouble if they can't get folded out. They are in trouble. But 1096D does look like they're setting down a... A pretty big stack. I think um, 24 or 26 um, 47 actually can push the blue alliance since they're not fully inside the protect. Oh, that's a tumble for Adam. 9014 B is doing a really good.
Pass. Pass. Yeah, pass. I got. I got. Pass. Oh, oh. Pass. Oh. Pass. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Hi again. We are okay. back. Can we turn that down a little bit, Baron? That's the joke. 1590A seems like they're autonomous and did not work, unfortunately. Okay. Wow. 8800X, even though it didn't work, it still got two cubes. So, they will be taking the autonomous bonus for this match. Looks like 8800X failed successfully in that. Alright, driver. Autonomous. Three, two, one, go. That's you know what they say, task failed successfully. Quite, we got quite the stack of cubes amassing out on the blue side of the field. This one is some heavy action. This one's a lot of scoring, a lot of picking up a cubes. They're fighting over the purple cube right now. That competition between Phoenix Lights and Microchip. Looks like 92800A is having a hard time finding enough cubes to actually deploy that. There's 5090A there. with a good stack. Be careful they don't whip around and whack it over. 8800 might need to clear up. Second stack in that zone. That was a very narrow miss there with this tower over here and 5098's lift, but all good so far. This match is very hard to track what's going on right now. Yeah, 8800 is picking up a lot of purple cubes right now. This is now. what we have to look forward to in eliminations, folks. This is what it's going to be like. But, oh, 5098 seems stuck. That might be a big problem for them if they cannot get out. Alright, and 8800X is about to score. The and they got it. 5090A is stuck in the corner. Oh, 5090A drops their tower. 5090A is very much stuck. While 8800 is scoring in towers, they're taking advantage of the um, overwhelming amount of orange cubes they have compared to the blue alliance. They're I going to score in their alliance tower. Right, some help or something. 8800 just gets nothing but net there on that one tower. 8800X just needs to control the match and not mess up. That's the biggest thing is yeah. know when you're ahead and continue going with that. Oh, good last second try by Phoenix Lights, but I think they will have that match. All right. It, results are results. What? Oh. Test, test, test. Hello. Oh, wow. We are loud. All oh, right. we are much clearer now. Okay. We got a new um, ox jack. Interesting. All right. So qualification match 41, 17 to seven on the side of blue. All right. Let's introduce our teams for qualification 43 on the red alliance. We have 6142W Willis Firebots and 2612A Chaos Theory. And teams. On the blue lines, we have Team 6030M, the Mages, your own ACP Erie team. And 2038Z, Cats and Crossbones. All right, and it looks like everyone is ready to go. Let's kick this off in three, two, one, go. On the red side, we're going to have 2612A. They're a great team. They're trying to bounce back from a couple poor performances, though. Let's see if this autonomous works out well for them. I'm not exactly Z. sure the not idea behind 2612A's autonomous, but... And it looks like we have a misalignment on blue side, rendering this a tie. All right, and driver control in three, two, one, go. Both red teams just plowing through to the other side of the field. Looks like our Willis team on Red Alliance is going to play some defense. That's a smart strategy. All right, I don't know if they're just trying to grab some cubes or both. I don't 26, know. 12A off to a hot start over there. They got about seven cubes, eight cubes, it looks like. Even though 26, 12A. Oh, look is at that defensive maneuver from 6 1 4 Well, we're ranked team. They are actually competing quite well this tournament. Great deposit from 26, 12A. They're bouncing back nicely from a couple of matches they wish they could forget. 6 1 4 here. 2 W, just like normal, is playing amazing defense. All right. That's what we come to expect from these Willis teams. 2038Z is almost, maybe, kind of going to stack. It looks like they're trying All to get right. that blue or purple cube out of the small zone so that they can set their 
uh, wrestlers stack on top of it. All right, and we are still trying to stack, but Willis is just preventing Good any actual Good deposit for 26-12A. Alignment. That's huge. 26-12A again with another big stack. They're running away with this match as we speak. They're now doing towers, which is a super important part of this game. All right, and the stack is successful over here in the blue corner, complementing the major stack in the far corner. 26-12A calibrated that shot. They said, hey, we went a little too far last last time. Let's be easy on the trigger here. And so they're able to get it. Yes. Getting a little sandwiched here between the two towers, but they're able to get the green cube, it looks like. All right, and Perfect. they get another one in. They got a big cheering squad out there. 6230M is trying to capitalize on getting as many green cubes as possible. And yeah. that's the match. All right, and match 42 results are in. 44 to 14 in favor of the Red Alliance. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for qualification match 44. On the red lines, we have 7830C, ACP Oakland, Noble Knights, and 6142X, Willis, Firebots. On our blue lines, we have 1096E, Circuit Cutters, and 4461A, Robo Colts. All right, and it looks like everyone is ready to go, so let's kick off Autonomous in three, two, one, go. All right, and 6142 puts in their driver preload. That red line is wasting no time. Seems Good for Willis. 30. And he Blue Alliance is just trying to add some stack. on top. Blue wow. Alliance is just chilling like a villain over here. Red Alliance, no they must points. have worked on that over lunch. Yeah, that's an impressive um, thing All right, to and on. It's very hard to score in there. And Red Alliance has won the autonomous. Kickoff driver in three, two, one, go. Right. Red Alliance is doing great, has great communication between their driver and driver coach, telling him what to do and the fastest way to do it. Yeah, and we noticed they made sure to adjust that a stack that they placed in Autonomous, so they have room for that one, which is good. Nice job, guys. That is by All far right. the fastest four cubes we have in this whole tournament right here. And with All this right. other stack and of three, I think they can put that on top and make it a stack of seven. And 6142X is out here playing amazing defense against 4461A, preventing them from picking up cues for several seconds in the beginning of the match. If we'd say anything about this ACP Oakland team, it's the fastest four cubes in the West. Oh, well, they get another stack of four cubes over in the Red Alliance zone. They're doing quite well. They're in eighth, ra they're eighth, um, they're eighth overall right now. Um, I think after this match with this impressive score, they'll end up going maybe into the top five. You know, they're not flashy, but they get the job done. They do it well. They do it consistently. Yep. And they're also good at towers, which is something that a Traybot will be looking at for a partner. Good All deposit right. right there. Our blue alliance seems to be hurting the cubes and trying to get some in the zone. Definitely making up for the time they lost to the good defense on behalf of the red alliance. Red Alliance focusing on that strategy, getting orange cubes in the towers. Great job by them. As you notice from 7830, they do a nice job of sending the cube all the way to the bottom of the tower, which makes it harder for robots to descore it. No, I don't think we're going to see any of that this match. But it's a good thing to think about. Clean. And another clean shot. That's what we call a layup. All right, and results for match 43 are in. We have Blue Alliance. 29 and Red Alliance 43. All right, we're getting ready for the qualification match 45. On the Red Alliance, we have 85266E Slam Dunk and 85367Y Adam. Still waiting for Slam Dunk over here. All right, it looks like Adam is coming over right now. Perfect timing. And on the blue lines, we have 7830A, ACP Oakland, Noble Knights, and 1471B, third wave, two. All right, and as Adam gets set up, we are just chilling. 
Not like the dude name Adam, but like atoms and molecules. Chemistry. Indeed. Or what? Yeah. Can I be right back? All right, back? and right. we are almost ready. All right, I'm going to say three, two, one. Autonomous start. Three or four teams getting off to a hot start. Doesn't look like Adam is able to get that cube fully in the zone. They're going to be relying A5 on a but it doesn't happen. E pulling close, but Blue Alliance wins the autonomous round. Let's kick off driver in three, two, one, go. All right, and everyone is off to a very fast start. 1471B looking like they're trying to herd cubes all into one area to make it easier for their alliance partner to pick up. Looks like red's focusing on mostly orange and purple. We'll see if eh, they're grabbing some green, so I don't know if that's going to play into their match strategy. They're just trying to stack as many as possible. All right, let's see if they can get this first stack on the red side. Looks like a clean setup. Easy now, boys. Yep, there you go. And they are good. That was clean. Looking over to the blue side, we have 7838A looking like they're trying to stack, get two cubes stacked up on there. 1471B is put doing strong defense against and protecting that And looks like they will, the red lines will be focusing on red. You see the teammate Slam Dunk is actually uh, focusing on red and, or purple, I'm sorry, or, and orange cubes in the towers. So oh. that's great match strategy from them. They're really padding their lead with those. You know, you can have two stacks, or you can have one stack and double the points for it. Which one sounds easier? All right, and 8536-7Y is just skating all around 1471B's efforts to block them. They're just so mobile that 1471B cannot keep up. And it looks like they are going for stack number three over in the far zone. Looks like a bit of a rough alignment, but... They're just trying to clear the way over here. It's not going to pay off for them, unfortunately. All but that, right, they'll that be okay with the that. Match. Scores are in for match 44. 35 for red, 6 for blue. All right, who's excited for qualification match number 46? Woohoo, we love the enthusiasm. All right, on the red lines we have... 92800A Robo Cougars 1096C Alchemists On our blue lines we have 4461B Robo Colts and 8598A Robot Overlords Alright and our field resetters are just finishing up the final touches making sure that field looks nice and good Let's get some appreciation for our field resetters Woo! Doing the grunt work of this competition They keep it running And our field resetter director, Michelle Yao. <laughs> All right, everyone is ready to go. Let's kick off autonomous in three, two, one, go. A598A just popping out real quick. And something happened in the middle. Nobody knows what. So, interesting rules discussion here. Intense deliberations. All right, so blue won because red pushed a cube over the line and blue just pushed it back, but since it wasn't their cube, they are still in the clear. Driver control start in three, two, one, go. All right, and 4461B is looking like they are trying to get that four stack of cubes that is having a little bit is issues with their drivetrain.
Meanwhile, 1096C is picking up two cubes, possibly going for a third. Robo Cougars were looking dead in the water there for a second, but now they're off to us, the races. Looks like an intense battle of picking up cubes between Red and Blue Alliance, and Ro Blue's about to place. Robot Overlord's very violent with that alignment at first, but now I think they got the finesse they need. All right. How's it look over there, Tyler? Looks pretty good. We'll have to see. All right. First cube is touching. Looks clean. And they're to slowly me. pushing it forward. They don't want to screw this one up. It's not worth their time. Driving forward a little bit. And nice. they are clear. All right. Meanwhile, on the red side, they also got a stack of the same height and almost identical color composition. Meanwhile, in the back corner, 1096C is just hoarding orange cubes in their zone, hoping some of them start counting for points. 92800A looks like they have exclusively green. I don't know if they're going to be able to put any in the tower to capitalize on that, however. Oh, oh and no, we had a a the first robot of the day tip. I think that's the first tip. I didn't expect that one to tip, but it did. Anything's possible in Vex. <laughs> Physics. All right, let's see if they can... Does not look like they have the capability of writing themselves, so it's down to no time in the match. That's what we're down to. All right, and results are in for match 45. 27 points on red and 9 points on blue. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for qualification match 47. On the red alliance, we have 85367Z, Sprocket Sisters, and 97385A, Sand Sharks. On our blue alliance, we have 6142Z, Willis Firebots, and 2612A, Chaos Theory. All right, and everyone is ready, so let's kick off the autonomous. Three, two, one, go. All so right, we got we one red line scoring an orange cube, one blue line scoring a green cube, and everyone else is stalled. All That's right, so look it like looks a tie. Like, yep, looks like we got that tie. Each team gets a driver load for during the match, and we'll start that driver period in three, two, one, go. Driver. All right. Nine, seven, three, five, eight, immediately taking advantage of that or, uh, purple driver load cube. And they stole a cube from 6142Z. You stole a cube from middle schoolers? That's just rude. 2612A just hitting everything as they drive over to their driver pre their driver protected scores. Looks like zone. our red side is trying to get a big stack. Our blue 2612A, right, that blue? that's going to be a clean deposit for them. Yeah. Great job. Let's All see right. if they can try to keep their alliance in this. And it looks like both red robots are about to stack simultaneously. Or maybe not simultaneously, but close to it. You know, it's going to be tough for this 2612A team to win this, but if they're patient, if they're calm, I think they can do it. They just need to be clean on their execution. It'll be interesting to see if they can stack with misaligned cubes in their feeder. Right, but with with two high stacking robots in this red alliance, it's quite the task. They got a good lineup right here, and they see they stack those cubes really fast. Okay, they need to this figure out their unprotected area. All I right. think they just need to deposit those. What do you think, Tyler? I think we are pretty much even so far. Let's see here. Are they, they able to clean that up? Uh, it looks like they're going for a smaller stack instead of picking up all those cubes. Interesting choice, but definitely a respectable one. All right, and with 10 seconds left, in, 10 seconds left in the match, it's crunch time for getting points in. 85367Z. That orange tower is going to be big for Chaos Theory. That could have been in the match right there. That's huge. This is going to be a close one, folks. Very interesting to see. All right. And match 46 scores are in. We have Blue Alliance with 12 points, Red Alliance with 9. Pass. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, who's ready for qualification match 48? On the red lines, we have team 9014B, Tempe Prep Middle School, and 2114C, Rubber Band Robotics. On our blue lines, we have team 8800X, Phoenix Lights, along with their partners, 1096E, Circuit Cutters. Guys, I All right, it looks like everyone is ready to go. Let's kick off Autonomous in three, two, one, go. 8800 looks like they're going for their six cube autonomous. We all see how this works. They've had mixed luck with it. Oh, oh the alignment looks good. Does this the play oh, work? Oh, oh that's, that's big. Good. That's big. Fine. Great job, Team AAX. All right, and with Blue Lions winning that autonomous period, we're ready to go to driver control. Three, two, one, go. 8800 X quickly grabbing those cubes. Probably going to go for a stack in the protected zone. The sound of rattling cubes, don't you love it? All right, and it looks like 1096E is just trying to mess up the entire like lines of cubes just to make it that much harder for 8800 X to pick up. Looks like Phoenix Lights is going for this protected zone. I'd like to see him put down three stacks this match. That would be They're quite being very careful. That's smart. It doesn't look like they quite have that bottom green cube intake all the way. No, and they want that one to be perfect. All right. I don't blame them. Oh, they might be. In the meantime, it looks like 2114C almost had a stack up of four cubes. They're having such trouble, Phoenix Lights, with that cube in there. Be careful they don't tip. 8800X oh. doing a little bit of a wheelie. But? Mm -hmm. But they set it down. If they can get out. They they do appear to be stuck. Can, okay, there we oh. go. There we go. That's great. That was to a see. clean deploy. Let's see if they can get two stacks in that zone, though. That would be quite impressive, wouldn't it, Jeremy? Doesn't look like they're going to go for it. It looks like they're going for towers right now, and that's a smart play. <laughs> All right, it looks like 9014B is looking to bully 8800X into misaligning when they try and stack on the towers. Whether it's a successful strategy or not entirely depends on the power of their drive. And, oh, oh. it looks like Phoenix Lights did a little fake out, but they were half a second too late. That's that Omni wheel drive coming to hurt them. With the Omnis, you can slide sideways. So oh, but 90, they 14B was they able muscle to push through them. it. They muscle through it, and they get that purple cube up in the tower. Oh, last second score from 8800. Oh, yes, they got it. Oh, that counts, doesn't it? Yeah. That it that, that counts. Thing. Interesting. Yeah, that counts. The refs have said it counts. All right, and 40 qualification match 47. Blue team won with 22 points, while red team had 16. Well, those uh, neutral towers have to count regardless of what team is touching it, because there's no way to distinguish in the rules between a team that was just trying to de-score it by touching it and the team that was actually placing it in. So it's kind of interesting. All right, it looks like Headref Nathan is adjusting a field tower, so it looks perfect for when these teams start. We love it. And immediately just knock it down. All right, qualification number 49 on the red lines. We have team 92800B Robo Cougars and 7830C ACP Oakland Noble Knights. On our blue alliance, we have team 1096F Iron Maidens and 92800C Robo Cougars C. All right, and everyone looks ready to go. So let's kick off this autonomous period. Three, two, one, go. Good start from 7830C. We love seeing their autonomous in the past. Let's see if it works out for them. I mean, their grip is kind of sketchy on that top cube, but... Oh, it's so close. But they get some, and they still get the autonomous bonus. All right, with that said, let's kick off the driver control period in three, two, one, go. So it sounds like they're going to go for the stack of four first and ignore the misaligned cubes. All right, looks like the biggest robot here is going for a four stack. Well, we got 92800C already depositing one cube in the protected zone. Looks like this other Red Alliance team is just going to go scrap. It's going to go get in the way because, you know, the 7830C teams, they've got it. They've got it. This year, more than ever, defense is such a valid strategy as it messes everything up. And 92800C almost aligning the cube, but not quite, causing it to fall to the side. They're going to try to stack on top of this unprotected zone. 
Good plan. We'll see if they can execute. It's going to be hard with that angle, but they and can. And it was executed. That's close. No one stomp over there. It might fall over. All right, it looks like 1096F is aligning to grab a cube. But inadvertently, maybe lost power. Oh, and they are back. Hopefully, they can get this. 7830C, they're executing once again, like we've talked about time and time again. They're placing those orange cubes in the tower to maximize the score. They can do the high tower. They're just flexing on us all right now. I don't, I don't think I can do the high tower. I don't think I'm tall enough for that, so great job. <laughs> All right, and 92800B just destroy 1096F's plan to pick up a cube off of a four stack. Once again, 7830C executing on that tower. All right, and this is really such a ground game here other than 7830C. It's all about that those defensive plays as we've seen time and time again in these matches. Alright, and scores are in for a qualification match 48, 35 for the blue team, 7 for the red. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, for qualification number 50 on the red lines, we have 92, 800 Z, Robo Cougar Z, and 1096 D, Techno Panthers. On the blue lines, we have 78, 30 P, ACP, Oakland, Noble Knights, and 6142 W, Willis, Firebots. All right, and it looks like everyone is ready to go. Qualification match 50. Let's get it underway in three, two, one, go. All right, and 7, the 830P. Almost pushed the cube over, but not quite. And they're just kind of shaking around right now. Looks like the Red Alliance. No. Looks like they're touching over there. We're going for the infamous paper test to see if it is touching. And paper What's the thickness says, of that paper? Is it less than paper one micron? And paper says it is touching and know. therefore it does not count. All okay. right. It is a tie. Let's kick off the driver control period in three, two, one, go. All right. And 7830P immediately trying to pick up some cubes. Will they be successful? It appears so. Meanwhile, 1095D is already ready to stack their second cube, second two cubes, and maybe pick up a third. Seven eight thirty P successful deposit. It looks like yep. unless they hit it on the way out. Yep. Nope, they're clear. They they're clear. clear. All right, and six one four two W picking up four cubes, going for that fifth. They're using, utilizing the field wall to help push up their cubes up their ramp. Very valid strategy. Just got to be careful not to hit any one. Meanwhile, it looks like 1950D is stacking a four stack of cubes over there and is removing themselves slowly, carefully, and successfully. This Willis team is trying to get a stack in here. We've seen them play a lot of defense. I don't know if we've seen them place any big stacks, so I wish, th I hope they can get that. It'd be good for them. Definitely. They have 15 seconds left, though. Looks like they're probably going to let their alliance partner in here to try to clean things up. It's definitely about that time of the competition where you got to start doing what you're good at and skip what you're bad at. Oh, no. And that's going to be a close one. All right, and results are in for qualification match 49. We have Red Alliance with 31 total points and Blue Alliance with 7. All right, ladies and gentlemen, qualification match 51. On Red Alliance, we have Team 6030M, Mages, and Team 5090A, Radioactive. On the Blue Alliance, we have 85367B, Triple A. On the... And joining them, we have 6142X, the Willis Firebots. All right, and it looks like all teams are ready. 
So let's kick off the autonomous in three, two, one, go. All right, 6142X immediately pushing their cube into the blue scoring zone. 1590A is taking their famously circuit circuitous route, but that is definitely not where they wanted to place that. And, it and they go down. Over. All right, looks like it was a tie for autonomous period. Let's kick off the driver control in three, two, one, go. All right, looks like 1590A is trying to recoup, a recoup after messing up their autonomous. They're wasting no time. They're just, just mowing them down. 8536.7B trying to score, but actually barely missing that. You know, they're the kind of robot that can really build up a stack, though. 6030M. One at a time, so. 6030, yep. And 6030M over here is tipped over after successfully scoring, but appears to have rightened themselves. The idea had a fast transition there. They just threw that orange cube up in the tower before this uh, Willis team could even react. So it's great work from them. All right, and it looks like they're setting up to do that same strategy again, really boosting their team's overall point values. Definitely a good strategy to have on an alliance. Looks like 6142X Great is Great deposit from Microchip. It looks like 6142X is defending against 6030M's attempts to score in that multiplier tower. Yeah, it looks successful. like AAA is going to likely be successful in removing that. I say that too soon. I don't know. No. 1590 is really stacking up on those orange cubes. They are going to try, try to get in here. And we just saw... They're going to have to make a little space for themselves here. This yeah. is risky. They oh, 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 ooh, they practiced ooh. that. They do it ooh. successfully. That's a great job from this microchip team. They're looking tops right Someone now. Someone spent a whole lot of time practicing that move. All right. It looks like for qualification match 50, we had the first tie of the day. Nine points to nine points. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for qualification match 52. On the red alliance, we have both from Payne Junior High, 1096A, Short Circuit, and 1096B, Scrap Inc. On our blue alliance, we have 7830K, ACP, Oakland, Noble Knights, and 2647X, Dark Bots. Hopefully they'll deploy this time, and this will be a great match. Looking to come back from that. All right. And it looks like we are all ready to go. So let's kick off match 52. Three, two, one, go. They are able to deploy. Looks like it's a clean autonomous so far from the dark bots. That's great to see. All right. And Whatever issue they were having, they fixed it. And, and almost They dropped one, snap. but they'll be happy with that. They'll definitely be okay with that. All right. And they win the blue... Uh, blue, the autonomous bonus, so let's kick off driver control in three, two, one, go. All right, and they almost hit themselves, but 2647X is looking mighty fierce as they pick up all the cubes on the field. You know, that's that fountain, or I'm sorry, the uh, Pain Junior High team trying to get in their way, but they're just muscling through right now. They're going to be in the protected zone, and there's nothing they can do to be stopped. Yeah, just the sheer size of that wow. robot alone. Oh, and... They are looking very close to tipping. They're always right on the edge, but I'm, you know what? I'm not going to jinx them. We've already done that enough today. All right. And Clean positioning. It looks good. Ooh. That's almost as tall as me. That's pretty... This is pretty ridiculous, not going to lie. Yeah. Uh. That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty crazy. I'm a tall guy. Yeah. This is like the average height of an adult male in America. That, that, that might be taller than me. I don't know if I like this. You might have to take a cube off. Just I'll take it off as you walk by. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. It looks like they're setting up to do. They it. <laughs> they accidentally score a green cube in the high goal. Wow. What truly, a play. Truly just a there skill There are no shot. accidents. Only skill. We're going to give that to them as if they meant it. They cannot be stopped. Unless their thing doesn't deploy, but that's okay. 
That's a nice play. They didn't need a big one. Don't whack it. Don't whack it over, guys. They came inches away from whacking don't their tower. Don't oh! I told you not to. No one listens to me. Benji, I think they're trying to take you out. Just because I'm taller than your stack doesn't mean you need to get defensive. It's still plenty impressive, boys. <laughs> All right, it looks like 1096B is doing a really good job of blocking that 2647X in the final moments of the game. You know what, Tyler? Come over here. Come over here. Tyler, come over here. We'll see. We gotta I, see. I, I don't know if I like this one. Oh, he edges Inches. it out. Hey, Inches. one more cube, guys. One more cube. Don't do this. Do it for me. me. I did. I went to the bathroom, then I got soda. Looks like our teams are getting set for qualification number 53. All right, and we have the blue alliance on the field. Let's go red alliance here. They're really showing up and putting out points. Right, is red defaulting? Match 53, red teams, are you, are you guys around? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting a set for qualification match number. Benji, half the teams aren't here. I'm just going to introduce them, and hopefully they show up. We're not starting yet. So on red lines, hopefully we're going to have 1096A, short circuit, and 1096B, scrap ink. Hopefully. There, there is something to be said for ditching together. That's, that's some team unity right there. There's an if statement right there. Um, and blue alliance, we have team 7830K. ACP oh. Oakland Noble Knights. Oh, oh. and here and they come. Thank you for joining us, Red I'm team. sorry, that's the wrong match. I'm good at this. That's okay, I introduced the wrong people, but they weren't here anyway. We're 53 matches in. Mistakes are allowed. Qualification match 53. 2030 on Red Lines, we have 2038Z. Cats and Crossbones. And 9014A, Tempe Prep Middle School. On our Blue Lines, we have Team 1096C, Alchemists. And 92800B. Robo Cougars. All right, and it looks like the Red Alliance is just finishing up their setup. Um, about ten more minutes. I wish we had a soundboard with the Jeopardy soundtrack right now. It'd be great. Why don't we? I mean, we have you. It's the same thing. Exactly. I know so much knowledge here. I'm like Jeopardy. All right, and we're looking ready to go, so let's kick this off. Auton in three, two, one, go. We have a blazing start for three teams. All four teams moving. Looks okay. like Red's Auton Hope is going to be invested in 2038Z. Oh, no. I Intense debate. That was interesting. Either way, blue won. Looks like blue is winning this one. All right, so Either way. Yeah, judges decided that that cube was... Oh, well, yeah. Blue Alliance wins. Three, two, one, go. Twenty thirty eight z trying to intake those green cubes. Maybe they're going for a strategy of picking up all greens so they can score in towers later. All right, looks like 1096C is attempting to pick up a cube but might be stuck on the corner of the field. 2037 something somewhat Z or 2038 Z that's it is definitely putting up with a lot of issues from I think cat crossbones should just get to the protected zone because right now they're being harassed they're trying to build a good stack but they're being harassed so they should just get to the protected zone build it there first take it easy but yep. as I say that for whatever reason they're left free to place that stack and that's what they're gonna do they just like doing everything that you say in the exact opposite. well it, it, it oh. Okay, there we go. 
All right, and it looks like a clean stack. Meanwhile, on the blue side, we have still only two, maybe three, two, yeah, two, two cubes in the cone in the zone right now that are scorable. Third one they have in there is not touching enough to count. It looks like 1098C is trying to put two green cubes in the zone. All right, and 2038Z keeps trying to get that alliance tower scored, but 92800B is not letting them align properly. This is a very interesting match. No one's really picking up many cubes right now. It looks like red is trying to stack another orange cube on top of their two already in the zone. And successfully does so to the shock of their team. All right, and scores are in for quarter qualification match number 52. We have 39 points to blue and one point to red. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have qualification match 54 here. On the red lines, we have 1096E, Circuit Cutters, and 97385A, Sand Sharks. On our blue alliance, we have 1096D, Techno Panthers, and 92800C, Robo Cougars C. Looks like we are having some question as to whether 1096E is in size, but the refs have deemed it good to go. So we're going to start Autan in 3, 2, 1, go. Two of the teams active here in the Autonomous portion. 97385A looks like they have five views in takes. I'm not sure if they're going to try to score that. All right, not. so Blue Alliance won the Auton. Let's kick off Driver in three, two, one. Oh, well, I guess three, two, one, go now. I need to try that strategy of picking up a six cube and dumping it into the low or, or into the medium tower. That seemed to work well for them throughout the rest of the tournament. Here they go. Can they get it? Yeah, they do. Now they have to collect orange cubes to make that doubler worth it. All right, and it looks like 1096D has a four stack that's ready to, oh, nope, make that a five stack Sand that he's ready to score. There. The only question is, is, ten, is the it's other 1096D going to by Sand Sharks. All right, and 1096D, what are we seeing, Benji? Uh, looks like their alignment's good. We'll see if they're able to pull away. Their intake, I don't know how they're going to pull away, but they must have a strategy, surely. We just got to believe. And I believe in the four cubes. I don't believe in the top one. Oh, I don't believe in the third one either. Well, well, they the still got one. three scored in there. And that That's might be enough for them to win this match. That'll do it. All right. Meanwhile, 92-800C is about to start. They really wanted to start over, cube. I guess. Uh, I question that decision, but I'm not in the driver's seat. If there's a will, there's a way. Unfortunately, oh. this stack topples out of the field, but they have still 21 seconds. They can easily that pick up more That is going to create an opening for Blue Alliance, however. Yep, Blue Alliance capitalizing on that right now as they stack right there. And if they can just back up. That is oh, they're able to pull it. You know what? I criticized their decision, but I shouldn't have. That was a great play by them. All right, it looks like... 97385A did That's not get That's going to be a that. really close match. Neither of count. All right, and scores are in from the last qualification match. Okay. Match 53, and we have 9 to 8 in favor of the Red Alliance. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have qualification match number 55. On the red lines, we have 44-61A, Robo Colts, and 6142W, Willis Firebots. On the blue lines, we have 85367Z, Sprocket Sisters, and 9014B, Tempe Prep, 
Middle School. All right, it looks like we got a new MC in here, Cameron. Say hi to everyone, Cameron. Yo, what's up, Cameron? All right, so we're just going to start the match while he figures his stuff out. All right, three, two, one, go on Autonomous. Boom. Now, will his team get a uh, cube down? Let's see if Sprocket Sisters have anything to say about it. They do, but they crumble it a little bit. Landed right on that it's edge. Get high. All right, let's get that driver control going in three, two, one, go. Hey, Cameron, what are your keys for this match? What are my what? Your keys to the match. Keys to the match. Um, well, if you're doing towers, make sure you get uh, watch what colors your opposing team is doing, so that um, that you don't accidentally get. You can't really hear Cameron right now. He says uh, towers. That's his key to the match. All right. So it looks like we have one team on the blue lines going for a full stack here of two, four, six, seven cubes. Let's see if they get it. I've been All very right. impressed by Sprocket Sisters so far. Let's see if they get this deposit in. All right, and the alignment looks good. Yeah, and, alignment's and, good. Oop, that was smooth, that was smooth. smooth silky. Oh, oh, no. They didn't quite back straight away. They turned a little bit, and that cost them yep. dearly. All right, meanwhile, we also have another stack on the red side. How's that looking? Benji, the stack in front of you. What are we seeing? Let's see this Willis team, if they are able to get a stack in. All right, it looks like we're going for attempt number two over here on the blue side of things. They're they're happy with three. They got three. Nice job, boys. Girls. All right, it looks like they point. are trying to learn from their mistakes and pull straight back. Sprocket sisters need to be really careful. They're Running that easy. intake out, and they that execute was a perfectly. Yeah, you know, that was a little fast for my taste, a little rich for my blood, but, you know, it worked out for them. Yeah. Oop, and they almost caught a cable. That would have been bad. All right, and with 15 seconds left in the map, that it's big stack, I, I must say, will set up the blue lines in a good position to win this match. Especially right, if, they if they can get, get that this multiplier. Tower in the last five seconds. Oh, they and fumbled. And they turn too soon. But I don't think that'll matter. All right, it looks like the match results in from 54 are in. We have 15 for the blue team and eight points for the red team. Test. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for match 56. On our red alliance, we have team 1471B, third wave two, and 6142Z, Willis, Firebots. On our blue lines, we have team 92800A, Robo Cougars, and 6030M, Mages. All wow. right, and it looks like everyone is ready to go. We'll start Auton in three, two. Oh, I was told to stop. We're stopping. You can't stop the train once it's left the station. All right, we're good. They, they've connected now. We're all set. Auton, three, two, one, go. That's weird. We got a late start from the Blue Alliance. I'm not sure if that's just their programming or what. Seems like nice turn. Thing. Let's see if we can get this stack of five. The alignment looks a little kinda, bit off. kind of high. I don't know what's going on there. Hey, they, they get got one. one cube. <laughs> yeah. That'll get them the Auton. Yeah. So Those whatever happened, they, they got it. All right. It looks like Blue Alliance did, in fact, win that Auton. So let's kick it off with the driver control in three, two, one, go. I don't know why they're, they're, they seem to drop their stack, this uh, Robo Cougars team. All right, it looks like the mages might be having some issues with their claws as one of them is back, and I cannot see the... Oh, the other one is on the field. The mages have a claw on the field. This is highly unfortunate for them. The band is on the field. The band is on the field. All right, it looks like 6142Z just got a stack and dropped part of it onto the field. Let's see if they can recover from that mistake. You know, it looks like it's going to be all up to this Robo Cougars team, the 6030M team. Driven up on a cube. I don't know if they're gonna be able to cover this Robo Cougars team. Cougars team. They're gonna try to help them. And with their missing claw, they could definitely use a hand. I mean, oh, I mean, nice honestly, spot. that's a that's a pretty solid defensive tactic. They're a hard to move object in the middle of the field now. That's what we call a wall. You know, okay, so they're a little more tipped now, but they weren't getting up on their own. So that's a valiant effort. 
Now they're just acting as a roadblock to anyone who wants to go through that middle portion. If you want to get through here, you got to go through me. All right, it looks like 92800A is lining up for another stack in the moment. So we got this blue lion snapping a pick of the moment. The claw's broken on the field. Okay, let me say, that claw breaking, it wasn't just a loose screw or anything. That metal is torn. Yikes. It's just had enough. It's done. And it looks like so that's gonna be that a, a little bit of a tough repair for what them. What a recovery on that tower! Wow, Robo Cougars did an amazing job. Oh no! Okay, good. They're not stuck in the claw. That was a great last-second play. Can I, can I sell this? Can I sell this? All right, ladies and gentlemen. For only two payments of 1995, you too can have a slightly broken claw. Need need a little bit of repair for all of your cube manipulation needs. Order now and we'll give you free shipping. All right. Also great for scrap metal. You never know what you need to prop up or when you need a paperweight. Do we need to sell that to Scrap Inc? Sell that to uh, 1096B Scrap Inc. All right, in qualification match 55, scores are in. We have blue team uh, at 12 points and red team at six points. All right, we have qualification number 57. On our red lines, we have team 2038Z, Cats and Crossbones, and 2647X, Dark Bots. On our blue lines, we have 85988, Robot Overlords. And along with them, we have team 5090A, Radioactive. This is going to be a competitive match, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a good one. All right, get your popcorn from the concession stands and sit back in your seats. I don't let's think they have time, Tyler. Let's <laughs> let's kick it off. Three, two, one, go. Maybe if we stall long enough, they'll have time. I don't know. That's a clean deploy from 2647X. 5098, their route is... Their GPS is recalculating right now. <laughs> Siri, get me directions to the scoring zone. Well, that's not I mean, it. That's a very nice tower, that's but a very it's nice not in the right place. That's a very nice, useless tower, that's but... All right, and that's going to be a tie. Let's kick off driver control in three, two, one, go. This is so sad. Alexa played Esposito. Honestly, I feel like we leave it there to a monument. Okay, but it's up against the tower, so they might be able to recover some. Uh, not really. Well, they went in like a wrecking ball on that one. And while 2647X tipped their stack out of the field, 5090A kept all the cubes on their side of the field, so it's easier for them to pick them back up. And 5090A just hitting their alliance partners. Looks like 8598A is going to play some defense at 2647X. That's a great play right there. All right, and this they are aligning. A it's a good, match. it's good. 5090A is able to score one. That's good. Oh. 5090A puts up a stack of eight. This is hectic right now. The downside of all these giant towers is they hit us announcers. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Amen to that one. All right. 5090A setting up for their second tower of the match, while 2647X knocks Yikes. over their first tower. That's going to be very unfortunate for 2647X. Yeah, that'll be very hard to come back from. It looks like defensive place from 859A allow, caused 2038Z to just miss a cube entirely and putting it in the top towers. So they're really betting on these orange cubes right now um, with, 20, with their teammate, 2038Z. Looks like radioactive. So, oh, but 5090A is saying, we see what you're doing, and we are going to stack all these orange cubes. Don't knock it over. Oh, that's going to be the that's going to be the nail right there. 5090A asserting themselves. This is just for fun, I think, but 2647X, I've that never is an impressive stack. I've never seen a field so clear after a match. All right, and results are in for qualification match 56. We have 3 to 15 blue favoring the Blue Alliance. Looks like we have another pretty good match coming up here. We got some strong teams. So on our Red Alliance, we have 4461B RoboColts and 85367B AAA. On our blue alliance, we got two ACP Oakland teams, 7830C, Noble Knights, and 7830P, Noble Knights. 
All right, and if everyone is ready, which it looks like we are, we'll start Auton in three, two, one, go. All right, and 7830P immediately snaps out their claws, but it doesn't look like they're wide enough to actually pick up any Oh, that's cubes. not a good pickup from 7830C. Not quite, Oops. not quite. Can they get two, though? Is that going to? Looks like they only got one, and oh, I think maybe? they're not touching that one. I think that oh, counts. Are they? The mat's touching it. Oh, no. Who needs anti-slip mat anymore? No. All right, and Red Alliance did, in fact, win that Auton period. Very close one, guys. Oh, no. All right. Let's move on to that driver control match in three, two, one, go. 7830C is going to fix that stack, looks like. All right, it looks like 7830P is back in action picking up cubes, but they picked up one and it misaligned. This AAA team, bam, there's some roadside assistance for you. All right, and teams, please make sure your controller wires are staying outside of the field wall. As best as you can. We know you are in the zone driving, but it is an important safety measure to make sure you stay in the entire match. A5367B is going and putting two more cubes on their stack. They have a very well-built elevator lift. Those There's are not easy to build. That's a very stable cascade lift. I'm impressed. All right, it looks like 7830P has three, now four cubes. Are they going to go, go for a fifth? Now the Red Alliance is creating a stack of nine by adding two cubes. Oh, and all right, and we're deploying a stack over here. And they can we it. build it? Yes, we can build it higher. And we got three over here as well. The tower just got two cubes higher, my friends. <laughs> well, it definitely looks like quite the close match as the points are pretty evenly contained, concentrated in red, but very spread out in blue. That's a great game plan from Red. They're going for those orange cubes in the towers. That's like smart. Looked like 7830C almost tipped over going to their max height. You know, earlier I said no one lost while they were going for the towers. Well, I guess I'm going to be wrong because both teams are going for the towers and only one can win. And the Red Alliance adding another orange cube to the tower. Oh, they almost got the release. That would have been great. Hey, still a great match from both teams. Nice. All right, it looks like results are in for qualification match 57. This one's a doozy, 61 to 32 in favor of the blue team. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're in for another good one. We have qualification match 59 on Red Alliance, 26, 12, a Chaos Theory, and double eight, double O X Phoenix Lights. On our blue lines, we have team 1096A, Short Circuit, and 85266E, Slam Dunk. Does look like 2612A is making final adjustments to their robots before we kick off the autonomous period. Getting so it set. We got a little bit of time. We'll give them a second. Um, never mind. Let's see here. And we are almost, maybe, we are all set to go. Let's kick off that autonomous in three, two, one, go. All right, an 8800X going for another tower. We'll see if they stack it successfully. Oh, that's always so violent, but it somehow lines up. And that's what we call PID right there. They dropped two cubes in the process, but got four cubes overall, winning the autonomous period. Let's kick off driver in three, two, one, go. May not be enough as we uh, move on with the match matches, however, get new eliminations. It's an autonomous is going to be highly important. It's an interesting strategy to see how teams uh, decide to put their uh, autonomous bonus cubes right away in the match instead of waiting till later. All right, and 1096A is picking up a nice stack of cubes while their alliance mate almost stacks six cubes but only gets so three. So double double x is going to step in here in their protected zone goal area. They're going to pull away very carefully. They don't want to mess this one up. There's no reason. Okay, they need to give themselves a little bit of room to get out of there. And, and they do. Cool. All right, and it looks like 1096A is going to align now. Cameron, what are we seeing over there at that stack? So, t yeah, 1096A is really close. They're trying to put up a five stack to try and 
catch up to the autonomous bonus that 8800X and the Red Alliance have won. Looks like both teams so far are going for green and purple more than anything else. Phoenix Lights is going to get some orange in here, so if they do any multipliers in the towers, it's probably going to be orange. That's where they have the advantage. Speaking of multipliers, they just scored their first one, and they are going for the second one right now. They're going green. Make me a liar. Everything is green so far. Green like that cash money. <laughs> that all programs wish they had. The two alliances are now competing with towers, so let's see if they can um, uh, secure the lead. Green like these, that cash money that all these students are going to make if they pursue a career in engineering. Looks like 8800X is going for a second stack in their close red, red zone. Or in the middle of the field, whichever one works for them. They just wanted to build something to stand the test of time. But time wins. <laughs> Alright, and score results are in for match 58. We have 34 points for the Red Lions and 20 points for the Blue Lions. We're getting to the end of things here. We have qualification match number 60. Only three left to go. On our Red Alliance, we have team 1096F, Iron Maidens, and 1096B, Scrap Inc. On our Blue Alliance, we have team 92800Z, Robo Cougars Z and 2114C Rubber Band Robotics. All right, and if everyone is ready to go, we can start autonomous. All right, three, two, one, go. 1096B scoring one cube while they are mirrored by, I can't read that, but I, they, did a good job. C. C. they did a good job. Nice. Making this autonomous round a tie. And we just wait for the clock to run out. All right, let's get that driver control going in three, two, one, go. All right, so it looks like 1096B is looking to get in position for their fam infamous wall botting. The wall has been built. And it looks like Payne paid for it. And 2114C goes to put up a four stack and they get it. Looks like 92800Z is Oh, I thought that was going to be clean, but not quite. They're readjusting. They're getting uh, their bearings. Looks like, looks like 92800Z has finally gotten fully deployed and is about to come online in terms of stacking cubes if they can decide which stack they want to go with. Let's see if second time is the charm for 2114C. It looks good. If they're careful. You can do it. Oh, oh. Why did I jinx them again? I'm the worst. All right, so interesting <laughs> development over here. A green cube was descored. We'll have to wait until after the match to see how that plays out. Looks like 2114C is trying to get past the 1096B and did so somewhat successfully, but not well enough to make it worth their time as they head to the opposite alliance or opposing protected zone. All right, so more information on wh what happens with that D scored cube will come later on as the referees are still conferring. All right, for qualification match 59, we have a 71 point total versus 27 points. Red Alliance being the winner in that mix up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have qualification match 61 on the Red Alliance. We have 85367Y Atom and 6142X, the Willis. Firebots on our blue lines. We have team 9014A Tempe Prep Middle School and 7830K ACP Oakland Noble Knights. All right, and we are just waiting on the refs to finish deciding what 
is going on with that previous match in D squared cube. I hope someone... Oh. <laughs> All right, so just an update for everyone. Um, there was a disqualification in the previous match as that one cube that was descored was a match affecting point. So that will be reflected in the score. As you can see there for match 60, well. DQ'd was Scrap Inc, Team 1096B, and as you can see it was 5-4 to four otherwise. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I believe we already introduced our team, so are we ready to go Tyler? Yes we are, let's kick off Autonomous in 3, 2, 1, go. Motion from all four teams. All okay, right. looks like red are both successful. One blue team was successful. I don't think that 7830K team is going to be nope, this able to get that in there. Stuck right now. Red team is the winner of Autonomous. Let's kick off driver control in three. In three, two, one, go. All right, and everyone, and we are still trying to get unstuck over here on the blue side of things. There we go. Oh, they lost. And the they scored a cube on top. Almost. Yep. They scored a cube on top. Cube on top of it. It's not. It's not level. So it's not going to count. All right. And six one four two X is making my giant defensive moves against ninety fourteen A, preventing them from scoring that. They're Most both in the top um, fifteen teams, so they could be in a picking position after um, qualifications are done if they win this match. Ninety fourteen despite defensive attempts by Red, was able to score that point, but they now look a little bit stuck on that tap. And they have yeah, just They just themselves. need to turn around. Okay, looks like we're going to have a big score coming in here. All right, and 85, 36, 7, Y just scores that giant looking tower. Big score for Adam. I wonder if they're gonna try to go for purple in the towers now. I would assume so, seeing that they have six purple already scored. And it seems like they're making another stack with maybe some more purple in there. They do have 37 seconds left, so they probably could score this stack from towers. It's not a good basis right now. They need to get everything lined up once more. Uh, it seems like they have... Oh, oh, and they drop half their cubes. They do that have is an very unfortunate. They do have an interesting cube block, though, that keeps their stack in place while they score in the towers. All right, oh, and they're I thought they were going to drop that one, but they get it in. Way to stay calm, guys. All right, and we got 10 seconds left in the match. They might just want to obstruct at this point. All right. Well, they're going to get they're going to try to get one the, the tower. They pulled last time. Wow. Scoring wow, successfully nice right shot. before what a nice shot. scored a. by the Red Alliance. That's what we call a layup. All right, that was our last few match. Well, his match on field 1. Move into our last qualification match on field two. Number 62. On the red lines, we have team 7838, ACP Oakland Noble Knights, and 5090A, Radioactive. On our blue lines, we have team 6142Z, Willis Firebots, and team 1096C, Alchemist. All right, and it looks like we are getting the last parts of this match together, and we'll be set up in a moment. You know what's interesting? If Team Radioactive has some uranium that's radioactive, they can turn that into lead, and then the alchemists can turn that into gold. We could all profit here. Interesting. All right, and we are ready to roll, so let's kick this off in three, two, one, go. Oh, never mind. I don't know if uh, gold is actually less valuable than uranium. I think it's probably... All right, and the 1590A Autonomous. 1590A... Oh, I said oh. earlier, nice route, Magellan. 
But they circumnavigate the world. There we go. All Great right. play by Microchip. Red Alliance wins. Let's move on to driver control in three, two, one, go. All right, so it looks like 5090A is using their mechanum drive to just move everywhere on that field, getting score multipliers and probably getting their next stack ready. I'm unsure about the play for putting orange in their alliance towers when they have more green, but we'll see how that pays off for them in the end. I think they're banking on the fact that this blue alliance just has green in their logos, and they're going to have to remove those if they want to get any orange because it doesn't look like they have much stacking capabilities. And looks like 5098... You know, they, they were looking ahead. They said, hey, we can get the, all these orange over here. So that's what they're going to do. Oh. Man, I love when they make Tilton wrong. And 1590A reaches their max capacity. Wow, Benji. Rotating so, around. Time competitor. Wobbling. Just a lot. Okay. Microchip just needs to be careful here. They have another 50 seconds. There's no I need to rush this. I think we should go for three stacks this match, don't you think? I think they're going to add another stack, yeah. They don't need to... That almost overshot and lost about half of it, but... I don't know if they left themselves enough space to add another stack. You know, I saw that. I said that earlier, but they just nudged it a little bit. They pushed it carefully, and it worked out for them. So I think they <laughs> can do it. They are picking up a lot of orange cubes, which will help them with the doubling. Yep. And if they can get even more oh. orange cubes in the tower, that's okay. They dropped that one on purpose so they can put it in a tower tilt, and it's fine. I was worried that one was going to hit the stack. See, look at this alignment. So they need to make a little space so they can make a little space. They're just going to be careful, push it in, boom, Fits they like do a it. glove. Oh! That's okay, they didn't need that one anyway. That was a close call right at the end of the match there. Alright, and score results are in for match 61, 28 to 6 in favor of the red team. All right, and it looks like match 62 scores are in. We have Red Alliance with 50 points and Blue Alliance with 6. That's it for qualification matches. As a reminder, Alliance selections will begin at 310. We are now displaying all qualification rankings on both projector screens for your convenience.
Testing, 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 all right. All right, it is now 312. We're going to start alliance selection. So I'm going to go over the rules of alliance selection. Um, we're going to have 16 alliances, two teams each. Um, and if a team selects you to be a part of their alliance, you may either accept or reject their offer. If you reject an offer, you cannot accept another offer. All right. So just like previous tournaments. Um, however, you can be a captain of an alliance if you are a high rank enough. Um, and also, if you get an offer, please send down one representative only from each team. Thank you. So without further ado, if I could have one representative from Team 8800X come meet me down here. 8800X. We would like to invite Team 5090A. 5090A, radioactive. All right. Um, we accept. All right, they accept the offer. Um, if I could have a representative from Team 8598A come down. Come on down. All right. All right, which team would you like to invite? Uh, I would like to invite team 85367Y. 85367Y. Uh, they invited you. Adam. Do you accept? We graciously accept. Wonderful. Sorry, guys. I'll get out of your way. All right. Team 7830C, come on down. We would like to invite Team 6612A. 2612A, Chaos Theory. All right, let's hear their answer. We accept. Wonderful, they accept. Team 6142X, come on down. You're number four. Uh, 6142X. All right. Can we have the real 6142X stand up, please? Yeah, thanks. 6142X. Where? Oh, sorry. We'd like to invite team in 2647X. 2647X? Dark bots? Uh, we graciously accept. They accept. Sorry, I am blind. 2647X, accept. All right, team 2114C, come on down. You're the fifth alliance. We'd like to invite 6142W. 6142W, the Willis Firebots. All right, what's your response? Uh, we accept. They accept. I know. 
7830P, your number six. And if we could have the team scoot down a little bit that way, please. Thank you. We would like to invite team 85367B. 85367B. We accept. They accept. All right, team 6030M, the mages. One zero nine six F the Iron Maidens. Come on down. And do you accept? Yeah, we accept. Awesome, they accept. All right, team forty four sixty one B, your alliance number eight. Come on down. like to invite 1096E. 1096E, come on down. And what is your response, 1096E? Uh, we accept. They accept. And for alliance number nine, we have the captain 85367Z, come on down. We would like to um, invite 97385A. 97385A, the Sand Sharks. All right, and what is your response? We accept. Wonderful, they accept. And next up in number 10, we have 2038Z, 2038Z. Seventy-eight, seventy-eight, thirty A. Seventy-eight, thirty A. Come on down. You've been invited. <laughs> and what is your response? We graciously accept. They accept. What was your team number again? Thank you. Sorry about that. All right, team nine two eight zero zero B, ninety two eight hundred B, number eleven. We would like to invite 92800A. 92800A, sister team, come on down. We accept. They accept. All right, for the number 12 alliance, we have team 6142Z. Come on down. We'd like to invite 7830K. 7830K, you've been invited for number 12. We graciously accept. They accept. For the number 13 alliance, we have 1096A. All the way on the far end of the, s of the gym. We have a very long line here of Alliance teams. That was not anticipated. Um, we would like to invite 1096D. 1096D, come on down. The Techno Panthers. And Techno Panthers, what is your response? We accept. 
They accept. Awesome. For the number 14 spot, we have team 9014A. 9014A. They need some time. We would like to invite nine two eight zero zero C. I mean Z. Z. Z? Yeah, Z. Okay, nine two eight zero zero Z. Robo Cougars Z, as in Zulu. Come on down. They accept. All right, the number 15 spot, we have 9014B. Tempe Prep, I believe. Come on down. And who would you like to invite down? Uh, 92800C. 92800C, Robo Cougars C, come on down. You've been invited. And 92800C, what's your response? Yes, we accept. Yes, they accept. Awesome. So the number 16 seed, this is the last alliance team. We would like to invite down to the stage 4461A. And 4461A, who would you like to invite? We would, we would like to invite 85266E. 85266E, slam dunk. Come on down. And slam dunk, what's your response going to be? We graciously accept. They accept. <laughs> All right. Give a round of applause for your 16 Alliance teams. <laughs> or 32, I should say. All right, wonderful. And the bracket's going to be single elimination. And uh, that's it until we start that. All right, y'all can go back to the pitch. And at 3.40, we will begin the elimination rounds. 3.40 will begin. So at 3.35, the first round should be queuing.
Blah, 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 blah. Oh, there it is. It's working. Perfect. Thank you. Nathan, you got stuff in the field. All right. We have our first round of 16 match. We're both getting ready. We have team 8800X on red along with our lines partner 5090A on the blue lines. We have 4461A and 85266E. All right, ladies and gentlemen, ready to go? All right. So just remind this is a single elimination match, so what happens here is forever. All right. <laughs> Autonomous start in three, two, one, go. Speaking of forever, I had some uh, trouble getting to sleep last night because I was thinking about what happened to me at Worlds two years ago. Don't bring so, up bad memories. Yeah. All right. But and that's okay. X is getting their Auton. Not... No such major autonomous disasters for red as what happened to me. So anyway, they get win the autonomous bonus. All right. Benji, you okay over there? I'm okay. Driver All right, every passing day. Driver control, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Looks like X is probably going to try to readjust that. Eh, they're just going to clear it out. They just want to get that crap out of there. And I'm trying not to get hit by microchip. You're in the way. Oh, their programming cable seems to be in their drive base. That oh. might cause problems. We shall oh, see. Oh, hopefully that doesn't get caught up in their mechanism wheels. All right, and we got 85, 266 like E starting to stack. Looks it like does look like they're going to have some issues, but maybe they can correct this. Our Red Alliance is probably going to go for orange in the towers, is my guess. Yes, I know 5090A has a mechanical lock to keep their cubes in, so I wonder if they'll try to score that current orange cube in the tower right now. You know, under the heavy pressure, I think they're just going to settle to score their stack right now, is my guess. That ju that's just me. Yep, looks like that is the case. It does look like 85, lining 26, up. 6E Okay, is careful. Looking. Will they use their mechanism base to shift against the wall? A team needs to be careful not to touch that microchip team. Eighty eight hundred X is queuing up behind fifty ninety A. They're gonna want to put in the second <laughs> tower. Oh that okay. oh, good, whoa. that's clean from microchip. They're gonna be careful, they're gonna queue up. I like this. It's like a factory manufacturing approach. Looks like that cable's stuck in fifty ninety A. They're gonna be nah. in trouble. That finally came to hurt them. 
that might cause some problems. Let's hope. Looks like they're out of the way. Doesn't. Why would? I'm not sure why 8800x would be scoring this stack, but we shall see. You know what? what if happens. I was him, I just. I would just put powers now and. Um, yeah. No. They're just gonna the back win. away. They are confident in the match All win. Right. That's the smart. Well, that's, that's a smart the play. Good job, both teams. While that score is being tallied, we are going to move on to the next quarterfinal match, which is going to be between the 8th Alliance and the 9th Alliance. All right, and on our 8th Alliance red team, we have team 4461B and 1096E. On the blue team in Alliance 9, we have 85367Z and 97385A. As we wait for these teams to get set, ladies and gentlemen, I have one last deal for you. If you order now and purchase this high strength 12 tooth gear, I'll throw in this washer absolutely free. Benji, can I have it? Absolutely free. Thank you. All right. It's already been sold. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as we're getting set, let's introduce our alliances on the red alliance. We have team 4461B and 1096E. What? On our blue lines, we have 85367Z and their partner 97385A. Let's make some noise. Make sure you select your program. It's a lot of noise. All right, it looks like everyone is ready to go. Please clap. <laughs> everyone ready to go? All right, we are all good to go. Autonomous begins in three, two, one, go. Two alliances enter, only one will leave. The blue alliance seems to win autonomous. Short and sweet. Came out with a strong start here. That was in a good position to win. All right, and as autonomous ends, we're gonna start driver control in three, two, one, go. Blue immediately. Oh, that's not a clean play. play for blue. Chain went straight off there. But it seems like they're just gonna try and hoof it through without the chain on there. You know, the, the good thing for them there is that Sprocket has another chain attached to it. So they they're not, they don't have that belt, but they should be able to Oh, they did pick up one cube. In. So they yeah, they still positive. have it running on one side, but I'm not sure they're gonna be able to pick it up to put them in the towers. Fortunately for them, their alliance oh. partner seems to have a very Unfortunately, Red just went inside the protected zone, so that is gonna be a match affecting play. We'll have to see what the refs say about that but I don't think that's going to be good for them. The Blue Alliance is coming up with a strong stack right here. Well, it's not over. All right. And we also have a much up, and that stack unfortunately collapsed. We do have a larger stack over here. Well, that is being worked on continually by the Blue Alliance. It looks like the Red Alliance is working on pushing all their cubes into their scoring zone. I like how that blue alliance has put a uh, green cube in the high tower. That'll help to optimize their scoring. It They've currently got two themselves. Two uh, green cubes stacked. They're trying to get two more. All we have right. 25 seconds. This match is winding down. All right, and we're down to the last 20 seconds. We'll have to see if 973... It seems like Blue is having some trouble over here. Uh, one of our refs was mistaken, but there's no harm, no foul. It does appear that we've lost a sprocket over here now in addition to the chain that got lost. That is an unfortunate occurrence of events. Benji, I think you have some more inventory to sell off now. Alright, so for the first round of elimination matches, we have 8800X and 5090A moving on to the, semi the quarterfinals, winning with a total score of 23 points to the blue team's four points. That means the 16th seed alliance is eliminated.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're starting our third round of 16 match. This is going to be an exciting on, match. On the Red Alliance, we have team 2647X along with their partners 6142X. On the blue lines, we have 1096A and 1096D. They kept it in the in the school with that one. All right, and it looks like everyone is getting ready. Everyone Just set. Everyone back up. Be careful. That robot. All right, and we're just positioning our people. Getting we're just ready. trying to fit everyone in the clown All right, car or the line station. We got this and off to go. So autonomous begin in three, two, one, go. We're glad to see that clean deploy from 2647X. That did give them a problem in one match, but I think they've got it under control now. I would agree with that. They seem to be having a nice Thomas program. We'll see if they can get it in the zone. It appears. Oh, uh, that'll be crucial the for them to get that going forward, but it costs them this alliance, this blue autonomous. That could be co oh, costly. All right, and we're going to go ahead and start with the driver control period in three, two, one, go. The key for the match for red right now is just don't panic. Get those tall stacks. Maybe. Build, take the time, build it up. Don't tip. It's going to be interesting to see how 6142X plays defense against these robots as they both perform almost identically. It seems like 1096A is stuck in this zone, so that might hurt their malignance over this course of this match. Oh, they got free. And they're traded place. Okay, this Dark Bots team, I wonder if they're getting a little greedy, but they're building up their stack. I hope they don't tip. That tree seems to be bending quite a lot there. Uh, I think that's how much it usually bends, so nothing concerning here, but... All right, and it looks like it is good. Oh. That was so sketchy, but it's clean. Don't knock it over on the way back. Benji giving some good driver advice here. Um, now they just have to stack either one more stack or go for towers with a minute left in this match. The rest are calling some pinning. We'll see if that matters in the end. No, I don't think it will. I would agree with Benji. It didn't seem to be over five seconds, so I think they are clean. All right, it looks like 1096A is getting ready to stack for their so this first team has to decide if they're going to try to do a second stack or oh, not. Oh, that was a big stack over here for Red Alliance. You know what? If I'm them, I'm just saying don't mess with it. Good enough is good enough, and take the win, hopefully, for them. All right, 1096A is trying to have something to say about this. However, they're working on their stack. It looks like 1096D is doing the same thing, but keeps getting harassed by 6142X. Oh, 2647X is scoring in that tower. That's going to be advantageous for them. They definitely have more green cubes. And good match both those teams. All right, so results are in for the second round of 16, and it looks like the Red Alliance was DQ, leaving the Blue Alliance, the ninth seed, as the winners. Uh, that DQ was because the Red Alliance moved into the protective, the inner protective zone of the op of their team, or the opposite team. It does look like the same team would have won regardless, however. Agreed. Although I'm not certain about that. Who's ready for this match, though? All right. All right. Looks like we are ready. On the Red Alliance, we have Team 2114C along with their partners 6142W. On the Blue Alliance, we have 6142Z and 7830K. All right. Let's start off this Auton in three, two, one, go. So regardless how this one goes, one Willis team will leave. These are all very closely matched will in terms of skill level of these teams, so it'll be interesting to see. That 7830K team is just a barely avoiding an automatic autonomous loss, but it looks like it's going to be a tie regardless. All right, and with that, the Auton is a tie, so let's kick off that driver control period in three, two, one, go. Play. All right, it looks like they are all off. Looks like 2114C is trying to run interference here. Actually, they're trying to get the cubes to their side it looks to like hoard them a little bit. Looks like That's a good play. Looks like 7830K is already getting a stack going. 
and is going to place those as we speak. 21-14C might be trying to play some defense over on the blue robot scoring the small zone to prevent them from putting up that stack, which we'll see if they do that. All right, they got a very solid base over here. If they can pull away successfully, it'll give them a nice edge over the competition. Seems like they're getting trapped in by that pile of cubes. 6142Z and 2114C are pushing against that blue alliance robot. Unfortunately, that stack they were trying to make fell down, but on the in the meantime, Red has made an oppressive four stack, which might secure them the victory here. We'll see how the last minute of this match goes. That's a good time for 6142W to really come alive and uh, get a stack up. Yeah, they were definitely. Struggling. They're struggling a little bit uh, with that b in qualifications, but this is a good time to have that just dialed in for sure. Yep. It doesn't need to always work. It just needs to work when it matters. A lot of defense going on as the Red and Blue Alliances fight over on the red side of the, of the field. Uh, we're going to see what the 6142W team is trying here. They're going to try to get some on top of that orange cube in the corner. But they're... Schoolmates 6142Z are not going to let... Now they are going to let them do that. Another impressive four stack from Willis. That will probably secure them this match. All right. And it looks like Blue almost had a stack, but a pull out at the last second ended it. All right. Results are in for the third round of 16. The Red Alliance fourth seed is the winner with 30 points to the 13th Alliance which had 13 points. That means the Blue Alliance has been eliminated from the bracket. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with our fifth round of 16. On the Red Alliance, we have 85, 98, A, 85, and 85, 3, 6, 7, Y. On our Blue Alliance, we have 90, 14, B, and 9, 2, 800, C. Are we ready to go? All right, got the thumbs up. Let's kick this off. Autonomous in three. Two, one, go. We got motion from three of four teams. Oh, and once again, we have three cubes that are very close to being scored, but not quite. I, you couldn't do that if you tried, but you could do it if you didn't. All right, we have a zero point auton for both sides, which means it's a tie. Let's start the driver wow. control off. Three, two, one. Go. So this orange cube isn't even touching the field wall. It's just perfectly balanced. Thanos would be happy with that. As all things should be, Nathan tells me. Uh, we're hoping the robot overlords are able to get their tray out. Looks They're like trying to get a cube to help them with that. Looks like 85367Y is looking for their first They had a close stack. call with the rules over there. but And meanwhile, this That was an Adam impressive team. stack from the 85367 robot. That is... Uh, nine cubes tall. That is one of the taller gonna, stacks that we've seen today. And, they and that, they're going to multiply point. that with an orange cube. And they the also tower. have many orange, and their partner seems to be collecting orange. So they're doing some quick adjusting, and now they are collecting purple. So purple and um, orange might be their best colors. We'll have to see what they choose to place in towers. It does look like 9014B is playing some heavy defense on this red robot that they're defending. Very Unfortunately, successful. their stack falls out of their tray while trying to do a tower. Hey, but they did get a... Meanwhile, uh, Adam did get an orange uh, cube in the tower. So that's going to help them build up their lead right now. And 9014B is still bullying Adam and just keeping them from really moving effectively around the field. Vex is kind of funny like that. The little robots can bully the big ones sometimes. Yep, it all comes down to the ratios you choose when building your robot for either speed or torque. It's just like how Tilden is smaller than me, but he bullies me sometimes. Please send help, folks. <laughs> no, don't send help. All right, and Adam got another, yet another orange cube in the tower. Looks like the red team's using their match loads. I don't know what they're going to do with this one. I think they should just hold Pat. Well, not try they only to have shake three anything seconds up. left, so they're doing nothing at all. They, the holding pattern works out for them, I believe. Great right, match yeah. to both teams. All right, and scores are in for the match, the fourth round of 16. Red Alliance which is the fifth seed, won 11 points against the 12th seed alliance with six points. That means the 12th seed alliance has been eliminated from the bracket.
all the time. Please. Really so much words. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready for our sixth round of 16. On the red lines, we have 6030M and 1096F. On our blue lines, we have 2038Z and 7030A. Expect to see a competitive match. Yeah. All right, everyone is ready to go for this round, so let's kick off Autonomous in three, two, one, go. You could expect to see an upset in this round as the Blue Lines is very strong. Yeah, Don't Blue Lines is them. looking pretty good. They already have four cubes collected. Let's see if they can get that. Oh, they oh, ran the wrong Autonomous. They, they selected the red Autonomous. That is an unfortunate occurrence of events because the stack actually stayed up. Oh. Yeah, I think they would have had that. I yeah. agree with you there, Benji. All right, well, it was a tie in any case, so let's move on to the driver control stage in three, two, one, go. So we got to see how Blue's going to pick up the pieces and see to try to get that back in their tray. Seems like 6030M is trying to pick up this cube and going to place it on top of their other orange cube, but they are slowly moving there. There, it seems like they have it under control. One thing they to worry it. about on this 2038Z team, it seems like their rollers are hitting their motor wires, so I would be concerned about if that might cause a problem later. So that might cause a for. problem if it gets snagged in there or the if motor wire comes unplugged. Or it, uh, uh, materials it fatigue, Tilden. Zip ties are you your best friend in wire management. Right, you can see the wires start to uh, wear away a little bit. Yes, that is true. I've had wires uh, right. break under less stress, I'll tell you that. All right, well, we got good alignment so far. And, and they looks are like they're going for up. purple. I wonder if they, as they pull away from that, I wonder if they might start scoring purple in the towers. It I would assume they, they would they because that would um, increase yep. that stack to 10 well. points instead of just five. Yeah, it's definitely a big advantage for them. If they can do it, if and they can do it, seems like currently the red alliance tiny doesn't bit have of grip issues. currently the red alliance doesn't have any purple scores, so purple is the perfect color for them to pick up and put in towers. They're gonna try to fix this protected zone and score there. We Sometimes see some heavy defensive action. Looks like being played in the center of the field. It Sometimes the protected zone is your best friend. Is gonna go for that tower. It looks like. Not quite able to convert on that. It does look like 1096F was getting stuck in that sea of cubes for a very solid portion of the match. 6030M is going to try to get a last seconds. minute score there. We'll see what it comes down to. It looks like Blue has done an amazing job. Yeah, 2038Z match. was able to get that stack in the nick of time. So good job to everyone in that match. All right, and results are in for the fifth round of this, the fifth round of the round of 16. Red Alliance, the second seed, has won with 34 points. The Blue Alliance, which was 15 seed, has been eliminated with a score of 12 points. All right, and we are all ready to get started. So if you want to switch the camera over. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready for our round of 16 match seven. On the red alliance, we have team 2612A and their partner, the alliance captain, 7830C. And on that blue alliance, we have 9014A with their partner, 92800Z. All right, and with everyone announced, let's get started. Autonomous begins in three, two, one, go. All right, and 2612A immediately looks, expands, but looks, looks like clean so far from 7830C. Let's throughout see if the they're day, able to get that impressive autonomous working. Yes, throughout the day they've had this autonomous working. Let's see. If oh, oh, that would have been a great time for it to work. Almost. That's so close. Uh, Blue Alliance has won the autonomous round. Let's begin the driver control in three, two, one, go. That could come back and change the outcome of this match because six points is a lot, especially in some of these more low low scoring altercations. Yeah, for sure. That's a twelve point swing, right? Yeah. And you know. I have to question the consistency of being able to push that cube in and then stack on top of it. But yeah. no one... It has worked today. Yeah, it so. has worked, but regardless, 2612A is off to a strong start. They're about to deposit a stack in the unprotected zone, so they won't have to worry about defense. They uh, are one of the top robots stacking. at this competition for sure. Absolutely. Uh, they were just seated kind of low, but that's okay. Yeah, they had a couple, they had a DQ, but honestly, that's they're probably one of the top five. And they show uh, it right there. And best right. robots here. 
And it looks like the Blue Alliance is going to stack a green cube as all of their cubes are green. So they're putting that in the tower to get a multiplier. Now, what colors do you think in the tower for red? Uh, they look, they're going for a green. I uh, agree green because they have a couple greens over here and a couple greens five. over there. But, but blue but has a lot of greens, that actually. That is true. Ooh. So they go for orange. Uh, that first one was a tactical miss, actually. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, that one I can't say was tactical. It seems like um, Red's outtake is a little too fast in setting the cubes over that's top okay, of the... That's okay, because their partner 7830C is, has a very steady hand in releasing those cubes in the towers. All right, and, and there's 2612A with another one. That's a total of four orange cubes in the towers so and far. 7830C, boom, look at this. It's not accessible to go to the other one, so their ability to go to that high tower is showing right here. Oh, hopefully they don't tip over. That would be very unfortunate. Yeah, that Blue would be a tough Lions call for the refs. Blue Lions is playing heavy defense on this. But there we go. Oh, there prevails. go. We have a strong match going on here for the Red Alliance. That is it probably one of the more impressive feats in this game is scoring in that tallest tower. All right, and results are in for the round of 16, match six. The Blue Alliance, the 10th seed, has won 13 to seven, eliminating the seventh seed match. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have our final round of 16 before we go into the quarterfinals. On our red alliance, we have team 7830P and 85367B. Yeah. And on the blue alliance, we have 92800B and 92800A. All right. They picked their friends. All right. If we are all ready, let's get this started. Autonomous in three, two, one, go. There's a saying in robotics, you can pick your friends and you can pick your autonomous, but you can't pick your friends autonomous. Yep. All right, so it looks like the Blue Autonomous is off to a strong start with stacking three cubes. Are they aligned correctly there? They might be. It looks like they'll get at They're least gonna get one. They're going to get one. And that's enough to secure them the Autonomous bonus. We'll All see if right. this red team with a powerful Cascade Lift is able to bring it back. All right, so let's start this driver control in three, two, one, go. This All right, this it looks like red this Red Alliance Cascade has been one of the for Hopefully they can get that full stack. Yeah, oh, under the pressure from 92800B, they're not able to get a stack of four cleanly. Let's see. That's a good strength of theirs, but we'll see if they're able to recover. They do have that three stack right there that they can pick less. They are going for that three stack, Knock exactly. It down. Their alignment seems a little off right now. Uh, Unfortunately, that stock is... So they're just going to have to go over. for ones. All right, on the blue side of things, we almost stack. had a tower. Unfortunately, it did collapse when they tried to execute. They're gathering it up. Hopefully third time's the charm for them. You know, I'd like to see them just deposit this here pretty soon. Bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Exactly. They need to scoring some points because the Blue Alliance already has so two yeah, in their zone. They've learned their lesson. They're just going to go in safe in their protected zone. That's a smart call. They need to fix this one, but I think they're readily equipped to deal with that. That That's Cascade lift is very them. steady. Uh, right. Our, our blue, blue team scores just scored in the tower from the top of their tray with a purple. So they're definitely going to be going for purple. I think Red strategy. should probably get some orange cubes in the tower, seeing now they have six orange cubes stacked. I think that's definitely true, but uh, they're going to have some tough defense played on them. Yes, definitely. That mechanum base I'd is... I'd like to see them get this orange cube right here. I think that's going to be a key to this match right now. Oh, I we get the tall tower. That's or, what I want. No, they're just going to give it the go-around. They need to have a steady hand here. That little juke they do it. That's on, big right now. Um, nine two eight zero zero A. They could also Allowed consider taking that out that power. purple, but not quite. Okay. That's All gonna right. Be a that close concludes one. this match. So Very results are match. in for the round of seven. Red Alliance won forty three, third as a third seed, moving them on. While the fourteenth seed was eliminated with a score of fourteen points. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's starting to get a little more intense here as we reach the quarterfinals. On the Red Alliance, we have Team 8800X and their partners, 5090A. On our Blue Alliance, we have the ninth seed, 85367Z and 97385A. All right, we're ready to go? Uh, nope, not yet. That's fine. We'll give them the time. We'll give them the time. I just can't wait to see some robots. What can I say? <laughs> yep, we're all really excited here. Getting ready for this match. It should be fun.
All right, and while we were in this interlude, they have displayed the next round of quarterfinals on the screen. So if everyone takes a look at that. All right, make sure the final checks, everyone's good. All right, with final checks up, let's get this autonomous round started in three, two, one, go. The Red Alliance um, 1590A has deployed and is going for this three sack over in the corner. So we usually see the Red Alliance doing the other side autonomous. They're only able to get one there. But double eight double X with a big deposit is going to make up that deficit for them. Both Great these autonomous teams had amazing autonomouses. All right, and with all that said, we are on to the driver controlled portion in three, two, one, go. So 5098 didn't have their preferred autonomous position, but I think they're going to be able to get that autonomous to work in the future rounds. All right, and everyone is off picking up cubes. It's going to be a very clean field by the end of this match. Yeah, I think so. It's a very strong start for this Red Alliance especially. But Blue Alliance, not to be outdone. Okay, I imagine Red Alliance is going to go for orange in the multipliers. These are both red. Yeah. All right, and Blue Alliance scores a green cube in the high in one of the towers. That is innovative right there. So you gotta wonder here, does Red just go for towers and defense? Because they don't have any more real estate. I always think defense is way more fun than towers, so I play defense. Maybe they can have one doing each. I think that's worthwhile. Or maybe they go for the tall tower by making up another stack. I don't think that's likely. I think they should though. But it's not likely. Looking on the blue line side, we have a very haphazard tower with only half a cube sitting on the base. No one stomp over here. Watch out, Justin. Don't breathe. No one breathe. I'd like to see some defense played on this 97385A team, but they're not contested as they put up that stack. Great job by them. This if is one of the first matches where both alliances have made impressive stacks. Oh, unfortunately, um, the blue alliance happens to drop their stack in the small zone. I'll hurt them overall, but maybe they can come back with 11 seconds. You know, left. we do see double A, double OX making that stack in the middle. All right, and in the last five seconds, of the I match, don't know why they did that, but they'll be okay. Style points awarded to 8800X. Style points do not win matches. All right, and just so everyone knows, in the final round of 16, the eighth seed alliance, or the eighth match, the results are in. We had a one point difference, the six seed winning 12 to 11 against the 11 seed blue team. Therefore, the 11 seed has been eliminated. One final. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have our second quarterfinal match here. On the red alliance, we have team 6142X and 2647X. On our blue alliance, we have 2114C and 6142W. Hopefully. Are we quite getting ready? Are we set? All right. I think we're ready. Everyone looks ready to go to me, so let's get this started. Autonomous in three, two, one, go. All right, and starting off, 2647X has picked up quite a stack of cubes. If they they're can execute, they later definitely rounds. win the Auton. Oh, they're on the edge, though. Not a clean deposit. All right, and Blue won the Auton. Blue coming out with that advantage. All right, and driver control begins in three, two, one, go. All right, uh, two, one, four. Six, one, three, five, or two, four, two, W. Finally, we'll have to see what they can do now. Two, one, one, four, C trying to block two, six, four, seven, X as much as Oh, no, as they it looks can. like 6142 X. I think probably the Careful. best decision for Blue right here is playing Looks defense like on that. Looks like 6142X might be stuck in the zone. That could be a disaster for this Red Alliance. But we'll see. You know what? Here, the 20 ability of 2647X to build a tall stack could be crucial since they all don't right. have a lot of real estate to put probably up all the multiple stacks. It's super um, helpful for the Blue Alliance this match, uh, seeing that the Red Alliance is a super high max capacity. They all can't right. mess this up. They need this right now. Absolutely. It looks as though 2114C might interfere. They know it. They're going to take the... Oh, okay. I'm surprised Blue is not playing defense. I'm so worried. 
It does not look as though that tower is very stable. I'm. I, yeah, I'm what what seems to be wrong with that? Pushing going on. No, oh, it's, and they got it's it. It's clean. They need to be careful not to knock that over. That's their one lifeline in this match. All right, and you know, I think they should just go for towers right now. Frankly. All right, and on the blue it's side we have six one four two W trying to build on a tower they already have started over here. If but what colors do they go for? Price. They're gonna play defense. That's a smart play right there. That's a very smart play. This is gonna be a very close match, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, because that autonomous bonus will like come all down to there. I all right, and that concludes the match. All right, and the first results are in from the quarterfinals. The first seed has moved on with a total score of 70 points to the ninth seed's 26 points. The ninth seed has been eliminated. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's introduce our teams on the Red Alliance. Our second seed, we have 8598A. And 85367Y. Woo indeed. On our blue alliance, we have Alliance 10, 2038C, and 7830A. All right, and it looks like the refs are still deliberating on the other field, so we'll give them just a minute to get over here. Oh, okay, we have enough people over here. Let's start the Auton. In three, two, one, go. All right, and 2038Z is about to expand their top portion. Let's see if they can actually align. It looks good. Looks a is little it gonna be shaky, good? but no. it is Oh, good. that's so sketchy, but it, it's up. Nobody stomp. All right, and Blue wins that odds on period. Let's start driver control in three, two, one, go. We're excited to see what these red robots have Robot overlords. They're getting deployed. Looks like they're just going to stack up on those orange cubes so far. Everyone is quickly intaking stacks. This is an impressive match. That red robot 85367Y already has eight cubes in the robot. And it's only 15 seconds into the match. And they're satisfied. To it looks stack like it over right here, here we have 2038Z stacking on the cube that was left over from their Auton period. Looks like Successful. they're having a little trouble. But no, Adam's going to get that up carefully ever so gently bam it goes down both of these red alliance robots with Meanwhile, impressive stacks we'll have to see if robot we overlords right, gets their orange and two. purple One. cubes now blue alliance also has an equal number of purple cubes to red alliance yeah purple cubes in the towers are going to be extremely important this match no actually they'll be entirely useless because they're offset good point benji thank you tilden so i think the red alliance is going to be looking for orange cubes all right, so far one's left the field. Hopefully they can get this next one in. Oh, that was a smooth move by the 8536. Oh, oh, no, 8598A. They somehow recover. I did not expect that. I thought they were done for. 7830A and 8598A were contesting. They're going to play some defense on that. The Red Alliance is kind of running away with this one here, scoring so many those of the towers cubes. it might be hard for Blue to keep up. I think they just sit on it and start sucking up some cubes and playing defense and just... Get him out of Blue's possession. Just zone out Blue right now. That's red strategy. Meanwhile, our Blue Lions team is trying to work on getting the stack in the protection zone. Not going to happen in time. All right, and that concludes the match. Round two of the corner finals. Results are in. Red Alliance, the fourth seed, won with 18 points, eliminating the fifth seed Alliance with 16 points. Our final quarter final match. I think. Yeah. I'm told, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we have on our red alliance 7830C versus 2612A. On our blue alliance, we have 7830P versus 85367B. Getting ready. There's a spacer on the field. That could affect things. Someone could trip and fall and die and make an OSHA complaint. They could file for workers' comp. All right, final drive team checks are in. Let's get Autonomous started in three, two, one, go. Let's see the 7830C 
Auton. That's going to be the key to the match for me. At least at this early juncture. All right, it looks like 2612A is having it some issues. It looks clean so far for 7830C. It does. It Eddie. looks clean, so it's good. It is it good. Is good. All That's right, crucial. red one, the Auton. Let's move on to the driver control period in three, two, one, go. So as these teams are going to start getting stacks, let's remember at the end, it's going to be crucial. I, both these teams are so good at playing the towers. That's what's going to come down to at the end, I think. Yeah, who can collect the most one color and then use that same color in the towers is going to be the one that wins you this have, game. Yeah, on red and blue, you have teams with the double risk four bars good at picking up those stacks of four and working with those. Yeah, it seems like... Oh, and we have some intense defensive plays from 7830P as 2612A tries to align themselves to Being stack. very careful. I'd like to see some defense played on them. I don't think the blue team can allow this to go up so easily. Unfortunately, the red stacks in the large zone have fallen over. So let's see how a they good come back A good addition that. to the stack for There's blue. Very nice. And it looks like blue is keeping pace with red as they too have the, almost the same number of cubes in their zone. So it looks like our blue alliance is probably going to focus greens in the towers, and our red alliance is going to focus oranges. I, what, I think um, 2612 is going to try to score in the other space in the large zone. We'll see if they can get that in there. They're coming over right now. And wow, good play C here. Pulling their age-old tactic of putting cubes in the towers for that, those multiplier points. But it looks like they're going to get countered by 8536-7B. They're going to work hard to let pull it go. those out. That was a clean deploy by 2612A. But I think the volume of cubes from red is just going to be insurmountable here, it looks to me. Unless they can get some doublers on the greens real quick. A lot, though. They need a lot. All right, and Blue Alliance over here almost stacking another tower. We're going to see some D-score from 7830C. I think this is the first D-score we've seen all quick. day. They don't D-score in time. All right, and that concludes that match. The third round of the quarterfinals results are in. We have the second seed alliance winning 49 to 17, eliminating the 10th seed. This is really exciting, folks. We have our first semifinal. On the Red Alliance, we have our first seed, the team to beat, double eight double O X with their partner, 5090A. On the Blue Alliance, we have 6142X with their partners, 2647X. All right, it looks like our referees are coming over right now, so let's get this match started. Autonomous Hang on. is not right. ready. Are talking about I don't my appreciate keys your comments. Everyone's favorite moment, random field size inspections. Right. So let, let me talk about my keys to the game here. You're going to see a lot of stacking from the Red Alliance, and they're going to go for the towers. That's their standard game plan. What I need to see, I need to see a couple big stacks from, 20, uh, from the Dark Bots, 2647X, and good defense from 6142X. That's what I think is going to be crucial. All in this right. Match. So just so everyone is aware, if the people in front of the projector move, we do have the updated bracket posted showing our semifinals, and the winner from here will go to the finals. I think for this match, the key is going to be 6142X playing defense on either the 5090A or 8800X robot because they both can make large stacks. Well, let's remember, both these Red Alliance teams are veteran teams, so I think they can handle the pressure. We're going to need to see some good defense from the Willis team. Amazing defense. They need to play out of their minds. I would agree with that statement. They must be outside of their minds. All right, it looks like everyone passed size, so as teams reposition on the field, we'll get short, started shortly. Sorry for that delay, folks. Yeah, he's on. <laughs> it's just been a blast. All right, everyone is ready to go. Let's kick this off in three, two.
two, one, go. 5098 starting out by deploying and grabbing this three stack again. Seems like their signature move. Some quality programming right here. And this time the 5098 Auton on their non-preferred oh, it side, worked. it's successful. You know, they make up for their teammates at double A double O X. So, all right. All right, so Red has won the autonomous period. Let's move on to the driver control in three, two, one, go. So in that quarterfinal match, double A double O X's autonomous worked and 59 A's did. You see it the other way around this time. So they're really, they got each other's backs. That's teamwork. It looks Unfortunately, like this Willis robot is seems to be stuck in the uh, goal zone. That's been an unfortunate event for two teams today. Both right. Willis teams, actually, I believe. So that's going to... And frankly, if they're not able to fix oh, that... An 8800X... But 8800X throws down another stack. Down. This might be the time for 2647X to come in with that yeah, you 12, might see maybe 13 stack. And notice 2647X, they're stacking up on the oranges. That's usually red's go-to color. Yeah, but this time they have to because they are unable to get to the blue protected zone. If this stack falls, All it right, might be so their key to win. So far, so good over here. They oh. need that to go down. 2647X, they need it to or go up, excuse All me. All right, and we're a little controlling. They they oh, they got it. it! And so right now you have a blue alliance. You have a blue alliance that's in the lead. Now with that like orange X. cube, that's this a, is a tight benefit. Match. We'll this see if they can get match. any more. This is such a close match. <laughs> uh, the Blue Alliance is a firm lead right now, though. We could see an upset on this field. We could I, see an I think that might be double possible. Double double X. That's He's another orange win. cube. That's a huge, huge turn of events here. With two orange multipliers, the balance is heavily in Blue Alliance's favor. But see if they can get any more orange cube to do a good play. Deal. Oh, they're oh. coming in for another... A third one, that would they be They can't huge. let that happen. Red can't let that go down. Red's going to play defense. That was 5098 adding another green cube into the tower. All right, and results from quarterfinal four are in. If you guys can move from the screen. All right. And it looks like the Red Alliance has won 52 to 32. Third seed will be moving on. The sixth seed has been eliminated. All right, we're doing another somewhat random size check. All right, everyone. Scores from semifinal one are in. Very close match here. We had Phoenix Lights and Radioactive coming ahead 41 to 34, meaning they will move on to the finals.
That was a lot of action in that match. Very competitive from the Blue Alliance. Yeah, Great that's job probably one of the them. best matches we've seen all day. No, that is definitely the best match. It definitely so. all came down to the tower cubes. Yeah, that's the last tower, I think. Those entirely the swung the Blue balance. Alliance, their partner got stuck in the zone and wasn't able to play any yeah. defense. All right, so as we get ready for this match, let's introduce our teams. The second seed alliance, we have 8598A and 85367Y. On our blue alliance, we have third third seed, 7830C and 2612A. These are two solid alliances. Definitely could see it go either way. Yep, for sure. 2612A has been playing well all day and they can make some massive stacks. And their partner's been really consistent in that Autonomous has won them many matches. Not quite. They're still sizing. All right, and as the last team puts their robot in position, we're gonna get ready to start running the Autonomous for this match. All right, looks like everyone is ready. Are you guys ready now? Ready now? All right. Three, two, one, go. Looks All right, like 26, 26 one, might have selected the wrong side. I'm not sure. Looks like they had an alignment issue. Maybe, I'm not. I think only two cues. Oh, nine, no cues. Nine. The Red oh, Alliance won auto. autonomous. Simplicity right. is king sometimes. With that victory in mind, we're going to move on to the driver control period in three, two, one, go. All right. And oh, they came up with an interesting strategy and over their stuff. problem of having the tray not pulled out. They're going to try to push up the tray with their cubes. 2612A off to a fast start. Oh, no. They make a mistake. I don't know what happened there. Oh, uh, there. The tray pulls out for. I think that was a misinput on the controller, is my guess. All right. Tw Maybe that nerve's getting to him. Tw um. 2612A is aligning their cubes so they can stack. So far, oh, so the good. Tower fell oh, over for the red alliance, but they got it back up. So the red alliance is definitely be going for those purple cubes, so they have the advantage on. They still have two more driver loads to introduce as well. All right, and it looks like 7830C is tag teaming on this tower and stacking more they cubes. They need to be on. careful they don't knock it over, especially when that green cube falls the down. The red alliance currently is trying to set down a stack in the protected zone. I'm wondering the if they're going to try to move lines. over so they can get two cubes there, though. Uh -oh. oh, no. Oh, no. Unfortunately, too, there's a. Bad right. turn of events and one of their stacks is over. Minor misplay there, but it looks like they're already back on their feet, stacking cubes up again. Oh. Uh, another stack fell over for here. Blue. That might cost them the match. Um, the tower falls, falls in the field. That is not good, but it is quickly fixed by the refs. Reds to have this one in the bag. They have tons of purple and orange, which they have lots of those cubes. I like their strategy. They're staying safe, no more sacks, and they probably will win this match. All right, and, and that concludes the match. We're gonna let the refs tally up the score so we can see who will be in the final. All right, and results are in. The Red Alliance will be moving on to the finals.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for our finals match. Who oh. is ready for this one? The last match of the day here. Woo. To all the younger siblings out there, you get to go home soon. Yes, on you get to go eat real food. On our Red home. Alliance, we have team AA00X and 5090A. And our Blue Alliance, we have 8598A and 85367Y. All right. Everyone is ready. Let's get this started. Three, two, one, go. 8800 going out, picking up cubes. This is their signature autonomous. We'll see if it lands this time. 1590A looking like they're also going to get a good stack in for their autonomous. Ah, 1590A is secured. Double A, double OX. Decent. Uh, one, okay. All right, and Red Alliance red has won the autonomous, autonomous period. One. Let's kick off the driver control. Three, two, one, go. And immediately puts those purple cubes into play. Probably going to go pick them up right yes. after grabbing these. I we believe. Uh, double A, double X decided to do a harder reset on that scoring. Oh, oh, oh no, oh are. no, oh no. They're oh, their teammate helps them out. That is a close call by their driver. I think they would have been okay, but All I'm All right, and I'm we got sure. the first tower up a of the match. A big score by Adam. Nice the job. Blue you know, team is actually right. making... Phoenix Lights posting the second So both tower. alliances have a lot of orange, so that's not really that useful for the towers. We'll have to see if this um, big stack for red can land. That would probably be the difference in this match. Carefully, carefully. This is huge for Microchip right now. It's a very close... And the Very better they put this here. up, the better they we'll put this up, the better it's it. going to be for Phoenix Light oh, to try to get another one in there. All right, and they've started to the wait for 8800 coming into the zone, I believe. Blue Lines adding a purple we'll multiplier. Let's see if they go for their, their stack. I'm not sure if they will. This is gutsy by uh, Phoenix Lights, but they got to do it. All right, um, and Adam is looking to stack a tower as well. So careful, so easy, so gentle All like right, butter. 8800 gets that stack. 59A is just grabbing cubes. They're saying, hey, we don't want you to be able to build a second stack. If you can't build a second stack, we have the auto oh, bonus. And it looks like 8598A is hooked on 5090A. That is my All right, looks like they are unhooked. 59A is just gathering up the cubes. Both All teams right, in this red line are just gathering up the cubes. Five the seconds. And that is going to be the match. Almost. What a great finals match. Get up for both of these alliances. Ladies and gentlemen, the totals have been tallied. Who thinks who will win? All right, we got blue. Who thinks blue is going to win? All right, what about red? All right. Maestro, can we see the scores? All right, red has won. All right, we'd appreciate it if you guys help us take down the field, and we'll ha be having the award ceremony shortly after everything is taken down. And apparently Concessions has warm donuts for sale 
for your ride home because who doesn't want a warm donut at this hour?
fooled around when we got to 22. I remember falling so in love with you. Bought your parents, packed your bags, and moved away. Your father got a job in the Empire State. Oh, how I wish you stood your ground and stayed behind. I've loved and I've lost, but you made me feel alive. I guess you got a job, a life, and a family. But I promise my heart will always have a place for thee. Oh, I could be a saint while you would be the sinner. My mother used to frown when I'd invite you home for dinner. Oh, my darling, how I miss you to the day. I'd give my everything to see your face again. Oh, I'm so sorry I've been distant in the past. I've written tons of letters and they'd ended in the trash. Oh, my darling, how I miss you to the day. I'd give my everything to see your face again, my friend. Hey. 
This is special. All right, here we go. The first award we have today is the Robot Skills Champion Award. All right, and the Robot Skills Champion Award goes to Team 85367Y, Adam.
All right, I guess who's here is here. All right, so the next award is the most predictable one. It is tournament champion. So can Team Phoenix Lights 8800X and 590A? Yeah, A. Come on down. And here comes the last Phoenix Lights member. Round two of pictures, action. All right, the next award is a very good award to get. It is, who is this here? Okay, so these starts the judges, you know, all the different judges awards. So this one is the judges award. Uh, I've been judging tournaments for about three years. This is always one we can argue about. Not today. Everybody almost in the room said the same thing about this one. So it's team 85367Z, the Sprocket Sisters. I was told to be careful with the Michael microphone. Uh, the next award is the design award. Uh, all around great feedback on this team. Solid. Uh, didn't seem to miss a step. Their notebook was amazing. So team 85367Y, Adam. Okay, um, Middle School Excellence Award. Uh, the judges very much loved their strategy, especially their defensive-minded position. So it's Team 7830C, ACP, Oakland, Noble Knights. Okay, our last award. Um, the High School Excellence Award goes to an overall outstanding team. Uh, the, the feedback was they were fantastic on one of the judges of the things. So Team 8800X, Phoenix Lights. And before everyone heads out, we just want to thank all the volunteers today. A lot of people put in a lot of hours to get this tournament as big and as well run as it went today. So, round of applause for them. And with all of that said, everyone have a safe ride home and see you at the next competition.